drop in frames. Fifty-four percent of frames drop. How we doing? What's up, early gang? Early, early gang. We got frames dropped, but I don't know why. I don't know why. Hopefully, it's just when you connect for the first time, it's like everything explodes. You know? Hopefully, it's that. Where's my chat? Where's my chat at? Somebody deleted my chat. Thank you for the follow before stream here, your pal Duke and Silver Stroll. I'm, uh, I'm assuming Silver Stroll and your pal Duke, y'all followed from LTN. Upreach. Thank you. So we got all sorts of stuff to do today. We've got big plans all day long. Whole lot's happening. Can't wait. I'm so excited. We got big, big. stuff going on. I'm gonna walk us through our schedule for the week because we got a new stream schedule, so things have all kind of changed. So we're gonna talk about the stream schedule for the week. Um, we are going to uh, have a big announcement right at the right at the top of stream here. We're gonna unbox some Pokemon cards because I've done something I've never done this before. I've never done this before. I bought a second ETB and I am at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for words, but here we are. And then, even though it is Pokemon days, we're gonna be playing Digimon Survive because your boy loves Digimon and this game has been hyped for years and postponed for years. And to be quite frank, if I don't, don't play, play it here, here I'm, I'm not, not going, going to get to, get to play, play it and I've got to play it. So we're playing it here. I don't know if we'll, we'll beat it here, but we'll definitely be playing it here. What's up, Pineapple Pope, how you doing? What's going on? Welcome to the early game. Pineapple boat. What's up, maybe 30 bats? How was your birthday week? Did you enjoy the, the fullness of the week? I know you've had a bit of a stressful weekend here, but hopefully the week turned out all right for you. Got the computer parts you needed, got everything applied. You're feeling like a man of the future? Way of the future. I'm excited to see your uh, your stream all kicked out with your new computer and all that fancy stuff, man. Excited for you, dude. I think that um, it's always interesting to me. I always enjoy getting a new upgrade. Like the day we added the camera to the 1080 thing, it's like, it's it feels like a very minor, minor uh, difference, but it, it's just a little bit better, and it feels so good. We're about to get just a little bit better on OBS. I'm about to break it all to pieces and rebuild it from the ground up. And I know I've been saying this for months, but this time I mean it. A year! Chat's, Chat's in the clap! In the clap. Chat's in the clap for H-Man. <laughs> one year of H-Man! Can you guys believe that this is the one year anniversary also of this building? We've been in this building a year. You guys, that's wild. That's wild, dude. I mean, almost everything worked out for PC stuff. PCI expansion stuff is proving annoying, but eh. Yeah, PC stuff is always annoying. I cannot do it. I can't, I can't. I hate it, loathe it. Now that I have the new GPU with more RAM on the way, I'm looking at a far more expensive set of games that I can run with OBS, right? That's the thing. So I was, I was literally having a conversation just the other day with Jate Live, Jate of um, Love Clan, and talking to him about, he has got his, um, I used to think maybe 30 bats that your stream was like, man, I can't even imagine adding any more things to your OBS. And uh, I think Jate is considering buying a third streaming computer because he's got so much. <laughs> He has so many things that he can do. And uh, that's wild to me, you guys, wild. Not here, not me. I'm like, I've got my little stream avatars and I feel like you guys are lucky you got that because honestly, it's a it's a headache every day. The RAM ceiling, RAM ceiling is a serious obstacle. Yeah, that's the vibe I get. My RAM, let's see, with what, I, what I've got, what am I pulling? 40%. 
And I currently have, um, I've got my phone connected for the camera for uh, Pokemon card unboxing. Um, I've got four screens. I've got Spoofy. Um, I've got Discord, stream avatars, a couple of Chrome. Which I've always heard Chrome is a RAM suck too, so maybe maybe it could be Chrome that's doing some of it. But all I have up is Google Drive, Google Calendar, To Do List, and um, what else? One other thing. Oh yeah, my text messages from my phone. That's it. And I'm at forty percent already. I just can't imagine adding more things. But maybe I want to make it more fun for chat. I always want to improve the experience with chat. That's always a goal. Oh, oh, oh. It's one o'clock. I gotta go drop over in general. Let's go let them know we're live. Yo, at chat. We are live. And then I'll drop a, a Digimon GIF here. Terriermon, of course. Let's see, here's Terriermon carrying a giant hammer. Love it. We stand. Huh, uh, How we doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream. What's going on, everybody? We got a big plan today. Big plans, lots to do. Have I played Xenoblade? I have, I'm about an hour and a half in and uh, have barely gotten past the tutorial. Man, I tell you what, Buish, <laughs> Buish would not like this game, dude. No! Oh, Buish, now I feel bad for giving you a hard time. Oh no, how are you feeling? Are you feeling rough or is it just the positive test? I stay pretty lightweight compared to some folks. That is no fun. Feels so bad. No! Bweesh. Well, I don't know if you've dropped it over in the prayer request yet on the Discord, but we'll be praying for you. Dude. Chrome really is a RAM vacuum. I run OBS, a game, stream avatars, cruise control, Firefox, Steam, and the camera, mic, KB controller, etc. cetera. Uh, Firefox, you like Firefox? I like Chrome, I don't know why. I used, so I, I started on Firefox on my old, old, old um, Windows computer. And then I moved to Mac. And I was on Mac for probably five or six years. And whenever I was on Mac, I just really liked Chrome. I liked the interface, I liked the way it looked with Mac interface, I liked the looks, the literal like like UI, like I liked the way it looked. Um, and then I just got, I got spoiled rotten by it. And I started using the whole Google Suite. And I liked the way the Google Suite worked within Chrome. And so I just can't, I just can't. But I, if I were gonna switch, I would switch to uh, Firefox. No, I'd switch to I'd switch to Brave. <laughs> Who's switching to Brave, dude? People, people, I see Brave and I'm like, mm, you're like this close to being a cryptocurrency, right? You're like this close. Like I feel like you're 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 about there. You're gonna be crypto pretty soon if you're not already. And I just can't. I just can't. Thoughts on Xenoblade Three? Uh, I I like it. I like Xenoblade Two a lot. It seems to do a lot of the things that they do. So. If you like, if you liked Xenoblade 2, I think it's a lot of the same. Um, it just better, just looks better. It's an interesting story so far. I'm in it. Uh, the voice acting is exact, exactly the same. I just keep waiting on uh, Noah to be like, Peter, Mithra, but he hasn't yet. Um, it's good. It's good. It, it feels like it's going to be a 150 hour campaign. That's all I'll say. Uh, real slow um, at the beginning. I think I'm sure it's going to, I'm sure it's going to pick up. What's up your pal dude. How we doing? Welcome to the stream. I know you're popping in over here from uh, LTN. I just caught you over on the LTN stream. So yes, we have Pokemon days and we are gonna be doing some Pokemon stuff. I'm gonna be unboxing these Pokemon Go cards here. Trying to get a ditto. I'm still very upset about the fact that I did this. I don't normally, I'm not a, despite what you may believe here in this channel, I'm actually, I don't like just dropping Bukus of bucks on uh, my nerdy my nerdy hobbies. I have a limit. I have my, my personal, um, pay expense that I like set aside that I'm like, I'm not gonna do any more than that. And my normal rule is whenever a new Pokemon expansion comes out, I get one ETB, one ETB, I get a three pack, and then I get single packs if I can find them. But I didn't get a ditto. And so I'm having, I have to buy, I had to buy another ETB, I don't want it. I don't want this, but I had to, I had to do it. I was legally required because I'm gonna get that ditto. I have to know what the card even feels like, dude. I have to know. So yeah, we're gonna play some Pokemons today. And then after we get done with Pokemon, we are gonna be playing uh, Digimon. We're gonna play Digimon Survive. We're gonna start the campaign, see how it goes here. From what I've heard about the new Digimon, it is mostly visual novel, which absolutely 
gets my goat, dude. I'm all about it. Yes, you love to see it. Big fan, big fan of a Digimon visual novel. From what the uh, game director described it as, is it is a episode of the anime that you get to play. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. I don't think anybody enjoys spending a lot of money on things like this. You're okay, man. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying that this is not a usual thing. And doggone it, Pokemon, you got me with your gimmicks. You got me. You won. You did it. You did the thing. I've never cared so much about a card that I did a second ETB. This time I did. They got me. They got me. Hoodwinked, dude. What's up, Out of Sense? How we doing? Welcome to the chat. Yeah. So yeah, that's the game plan for today. Pokemon trading card game. We're gonna unbox this ETB. Then we're gonna get into some Digimon Survive and move into the end. I've heard mixed things about Survive, but from what I've heard, I think you'll love it. Yes, so I think that's where, that's exactly what I'm talking about. People that are coming to it expecting Digimon Cyber Sleuth or who are expecting um, Digimon the past like games, I think they're being disappointed because what they're expecting is a pretty hardcore st standard oriented, um, almost ARP, not ARPG, that's not the right word. It is still an SRPG, but it's it's a different format. But this one, like he said, it's an anime episode that you get to play, which is exactly what I love. I don't care that much about the gameplay anyway. I'm not I'm not a, I'm not a strategic guy anyway. Um, like for instance, Fire Emblem, right? Like Fire Emblem fights are really fun, but you know what I really love about Fire Emblem? All the story. I will get into the side stories of Fire Emblem more than I'll play the main story, just because I want to know more about the characters and the waifus, dude. That's what I'm all about. Yes, we got big plans. Big plans, big plans. Um, let's see, where were we? we were talking about Chrome, talking about Opera. I made fun of Brave a little bit. And uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if I ever switch. I doubt I'll ever switch browsers. Uh, I just can't, I just can't imagine. I can't imagine using anything other than Chrome. I'm so, I'm so, that they got me. They got their, they got their fangs into me, dude. Just like Pokemon Go making me buy the second ETB. They got their fangs into me, dude. Got, got me. Got Welcome to the stream, though. I know we got a couple of new people here. We got some 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 returning folks, um, but welcome to Checkpoint Church, a church for nerds, geeks, and gamers. Haven't used Chrome in four years, Bwish. I can't imagine. So what, did you say you use Opera? You like Opera? Maybe, dude, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. As maybe 30 Bat said, Opera is currently, the, or culturally, the Linux of web browsers. I also don't use anything Linux-based. Actually happy with Edge if I need Chromium extensions. That's hilarious. You're a Firefox fan. Oh, okay. You just said Oprah GX is fine, but you like Firefox. I feel like that's th those, uh, yeah, that, that adds up. This adds up. You can learn a lot about a person from the browser source they use. And mine, my Chrome usage, lazy. That's what it says about me. It says lazy. Refuses to move on. Yeah? Born and raised United Methodist, yeah? <laughs> Firefox is progressive, dude. Ready to move on. Going to the next thing. <laughs> Chrome is spyware, probably. I don't care about any of that. I'm, I buy into the whole thing of like, um, where people are like, you know, your Alexa's listening, listening to, to you. you. And I'm just like, what? Why? What would they have to listen to me for? What am I so, what's so important about me that they're listening to me? I doubt it. I don't think so. We get into that, like, that mental game of like, no, they know. They're listening always. And I'm like, maybe, I don't know. Probably, it's fine. They can use me for their advertisements. And it's cool. It's kosher. I give them the information anyway. I'll give them the info. I don't care. If I really wanted to not be spied on, then I guess I would just, uh... I guess I would just do nothing. I guess I'd just do nothing. Mass consumer POV. Maybe. Maybe, dude. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't have time. I don't have time to not be that. I'm a I'm I'm a provider in other areas. And so to the to the technology market, whatever. I'm not a contributor. And so I'm just gonna be a consumer. I'll contribute to the church, you know? That's my market that I'm innovating in whatever way I am. I'm not gonna make my own uh, my own streaming device or anything like that. You are spyware, you're pal Duke. I knew it. I knew it. I knew as soon as I saw that name pop up in chat, I was like, this guy, this is spyware. That's what's happening right now. I'm being spied upon. I trust my corporate overlords. Oh no, there's no trust. It is loyal. Uh, <laughs> it is loyal. Um, I'm trying to think of a word other than the word I want to use. <laughs> I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to say it's loyalty. Loyalty more than trust. 
knowing that they're treating me badly and doing it anyway. This has been a fun conversation. Hi there, part of Sorta of, Kinda On Time Gang. What's up, Perry? We got big plans today, my friend. We need to get into some of them. So I'm gonna talk about the schedule first. Um, I don't, does, is it one of these? Let's see if it's one of these. I think it is. Yes, okay. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is we have a new schedule here at Checkpoint. So I wanna talk about what's going on this week at Checkpoint Church because our schedule has shifted. Normally, I'm not actually gonna talk about normally. I'm just gonna talk about what this week is. This week, we have Pokemon Day, which you're at right now. One o'clock is our first, excuse me, I am burpy. I am burpy. This is not good. <laughs> um, I had Mexican food for lunch as I always do on a Monday and man, it is uh, just, it's here, dude. Uh, so Pokemon Day, one o'clock. Uh, tomorrow, Variety Tuesday. If you would like to be a part of voting for what game we play for Variety Tuesday, hop on over to the Discord, exclamation point Discord in the chat. That's where we're gonna vote on that. I will post the voter first thing in the morning of what games we're uh, considering playing that day. Um, there'll be three games to three games to choose from, and then one that you can make a recommendation, and if you recommend, it'll get added to the list, and we'll let people vote on your recommendation. You can vote as many times as you want to. It's not a vote on, only on one thing. It's just whatever gets the highest amount of votes uh, at the end of the thing is the game we're playing tomorrow. Uh, then we're trying something new on Wednesday, which I'm very frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> it is it is for Tuesday, except for whenever a discount is on Monday. They have uh, Dollar Taco Mondays, which I agree, Taco Tuesday makes, makes way more sense, but it is Dollar Taco Mondays. And so I go and I eat my, my $7, um, I don't eat seven tacos. <laughs> I just realized how that sounded. A dollar taco and I spend $7, thus seven, seven tacos. tacos, not true. Not true, I eat two tacos, a small queso, and so many chips, and then I also have a sweet tea. Which I shouldn't, I should do water. But I don't. I don't eat seven tacos. <laughs> that is not canon, that is not Checkpoint Church canon. It doesn't have the alliteration, I don't know what it is. Water gang, I wish, you know, I do have, I have my big old, my big old chugger here. Got this big old boy. I've not made it very far, as you can tell. See, this is, this is, the proof is in the pudding, friends. The proof is in the pudding that I don't drink enough water. Look, I, I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be right here, dude. I'm supposed to be right here, and I'm way up here. I've barely made it past 815. I've barely made it past 815. Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday, they just announced they're doing a Pokemon Direct. Yes, yes, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Do you find that it helps? Yeah, actually I do. Uh, it doesn't help as much during the day. It is a gallon. It helps a lot at night. Um, whenever I get home and I'm like sitting on the couch and taking care of my kiddos, it's right there. And that's whenever I, that's where I go through the most of it. So like you can see it goes all the way to eight here. And I would say at about, I'm, I'm, normally, I'm normally about at noon. I'm probably about at noon by the end of the work day. But dude, I'm down, I'm down by six. Uh, I drink, so I drink six hours worth from the time I get off work at four o'clock, 4.30. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want it to be, oh, I'm sorry. I did forget to drink. Hydrate, cheers. There you go, you got three, you got three big chugs. Three big chugs. And a soaked, a soaked mustache there. My wife gave me such a hard time about that, ended up getting myself a half gallon. That's what my wife has. So she got the half gallon and I got very jealous. I got very jealous. Bleesh. Please go feel better, my friend. Oh my goodness, please, please take some, take whatever you can. I don't know what you're supposed to take, but take it and feel better. Get some sleep, get some rest. We'll pray for you, my friend, over in the Discord for sure. So yes, a gallon, it's helping, it's fun. Wednesday. Wednesday, they're having a Pokemon Direct at nine, which is the exact same time as our Nerdy Talk Back. And then I have a meeting immediately after that at 10. So I have no idea what Wednesday's gonna look like. Here's my consideration, okay? My consideration is we start at 8.30 and we have a 30 minute Nerdy Talk Back. And then we watch the Pokemon Direct together. That's kind of where I'm at. I don't feel like I can miss the Pokemon Direct and I don't want our first Nerdy Talk Back for me to be super distracted. So I wonder if maybe I'll do the first 30 minutes of just really intense, because we're gonna be practicing this Nerdy Talk Back thing anyway, it's just getting started. So we'll figure it out then, we'll do 30 minutes, 8.30, and then we'll start the Pokemon Direct right at nine, and then we'll go nine to 9.30ish whenever the Direct is over, and then we'll just call it there, because I got a meeting at 10 anyway. So that's probably the plan for Wednesday. Game Together is every other week, and we did it last week. No Game Together this week, cool? No Game Together this week. Thursday, wake with Nate at 9 a.m. Podcast Friday is gonna be every other week, starting on the 19th. 
So we're almost there. We're going to have a podcast coming out every other week, starting on the 19th. we got two podcasts coming at you. The first one is a surprise. Uh, that's going to be airing on the... Let's see if I can find the date. Uh, September 5th? Oh, no. Here we go. September 2nd. On September 2nd, a surprise podcast is going to be airing. But the week before, or the two weeks before that, August 19th, is going to be the next episode of The Nerds Oh, oh Pray. Pray. I can't believe it's back. Can't believe it's back, but it is. I've already got a bunch on the docket. I've been editing them, working on them, getting a backlog together. So now we won't run into the same problem that we did before. So Nerds of Prey returns August 19th, September 2nd. A new podcast premieres that you'll find out more information about as we get there. Okay. That was so much to say. So much to say, but I just wanted to let you know all that stuff that happened. The next thing I want to do is I want to get all of the chats and the clap that we can get. All the chats and the clap we can muster because we had the ultimate community showdown this past Saturday and Checkpoint Church brought it home. We won. Congratulations to the Checkpoint peeps. Claps in the chat for all the Checkpoint peeps for winning the ultimate community showdown. Chats in the clap also... To all the participants, we had nine teams. We had 54 people from nine different communities participating in a showdown together on Twitch. I thought it was huge, dude. I, I wish, so we, we, were, we were hosting maybe like 10 viewers, but between all of the different groups, I would love to know how many unique viewers we had. I bet you we were reaching, you know, I don't even know. I don't even know, dude. Between nine communities, I, I'm willing to say like a thousand viewers. I'm willing to say that between all of us, we have like a thousand viewers. I think that is incredible, okay? I think that is massive, huge, awesome, fun. We also just had a good old time, and you can't beat it. Can't beat it. You really can't beat it. We had a blast. I'm so thankful for our participants that we had that day. Huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody that was a part of that, for the people that were viewing, uh, and it was just a good old time. Just a good old-fashioned time. So thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. No more no fan mail. We appreciate it. Appreciate the participation. Appreciate people being there. I had a good time. I enjoyed myself. I can't believe I was actually there. I really didn't think I was going to be able to be there, but then I made it. Feels good. Feels good to be there. Feels good. We appreciate uh, Love Thy Nerd for all of their support and the stuff that they do uh, and for that awesome community that they got going on there. Okay. Now, I think this is the last thing. Hang on. Let me get it together. I think this is the last thing that I've got to announce before we can un unbox some Pocket Me Uncurds here. So let's... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Here we go. Okay, yes, this is it. I think this is it. I'm pretty sure this is it. Bow! Okay, we are hosting a documentary viewing of The Satanic Panic and the Religious Battle for the Imagination. This is a documentary put together by Derek White um, last year. It is only airing in Canada, and we are doing an exclusive showing of this documentary coming up August 20th at 7 p.m. It is going to be an event that costs. It is a ticketed event, um, but we are expecting a, a really, really impressive event for all of you. I think it's going to be a great time. We're going to get together at 7 o'clock that night, and we're going to watch the documentary together. Once again, this is an exclusive premiere. This is not available on streaming. It's not like you can just go watch this on Netflix. This is something only we have access to streaming here, and we are also going to be having a discussion panel immediately following. For the next couple weeks, I'm going to be slowly trickling out who our discussion panelists are. I'm very excited about all of them. I can't wait for you to learn more about who we're going to be talking to. I guess we can say the first and obvious one is we're going to be talking to Derek White, uh, and that's going to be an exciting interview in and of itself. If you've never watched that episode of the Nerds of Prey, um, he's a fantastic person, a fantastic pastor. Um, he considers himself the, the chaplain uh, of a lot of conventions and convention culture. He is well known in the community. He's uh, actually teaching uh, clergy in some of the conferences of the UMC how to use Use Dungeons and Dragons for mental health uh, improvement. Uh, so they, they, he's teaching pastors how to bring Dungeons and Dragons to their churches to teach more. Fascinating guy, fascinating discussion. If you want to be a part of that conversation, you can learn more about it there. I'm going to go over real quickly and get the event right just so I make sure we drop this down in the chat. Uh, I need to make it a command, and I will. I will make it a command. But I'm just going to go ahead and drop the website. Ba -bam. You can find all the information, the Eventbrite, the trailer, all that stuff at that link right there. But be sure to check it out. We would love to have you there. Love to have you be a part of that. Um, and I anticipate some great sponsorships, some great partnerships, some that we're already working on that are underway. Um, but even more to come for this incredible event. I'm very, I'm very pleased with the team that's been putting this on. Uh, for the folks from Checkpoint that have been doing this, uh, I, I just... 
I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. I'm excited to see where we go from here. I'm excited for this to be our first big event that we've done like this, but to see where we go from here. I think it's great news. And we got big stuff coming up. I got another big announcement coming at you tomorrow. So I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is a huge week at Checkpoint Church. This is a huge week. But now, because it's almost it's almost 1.30 and I haven't even touched these Pokemon cards, we're going to get into some Pokemon Go. If you don't know the shtick, Pokemon Go partnered with Pokemon Trading Card Company, made some exclusive Pokemon Go cards, and I bought them a couple weeks ago, and uh, one of the big shticks is that there are ditto. So you know how if you catch a ditto in Pokemon Go, it goes like, oh, and then the screen shakes or whatever, and it like turns out that the Pidgey you caught is actually a ditto. They made cards that did that. They made cards that did that. And so last time I had like 16 packs of cards and I didn't get a single ditto. And so I had to buy another ETB. And so like I said earlier, I'm not proud. I'm not proud, but I made this decision. I did this. I accept my defeat. I accept my my um, giving in to my, my capitalist urges to understand and to have all of the things. This is the first time Pokemon has ever got me with their cards and their stick and their gimmick. Um, but I have to have it, I have to have it. And so let's just hope and pray. <laughs> let's hope and pray that this is the one. Let's hope and pray that this is the one where I get that ditto. Because if I don't, I'm gonna have to find another one. And I can't emotionally do that. I cannot emotionally do that. What's up, Taco? So I've already shown you guys the ETB, so I'm not gonna bother showing you all the stuff in it again, unless you guys are just curious. Um, if you've never gotten an ETB before, it comes with dividers, bookmarks, um, a special set of die, it comes with sleeves, it comes with uh, all sorts of fun stuff there. And then it also comes, of course, with 10, 10, eight, 10. Does it come with 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10. 10 packs, 10 boosters here. So we got 10 packs of Pokemon cards. And they're not, they're not necessarily here. The other day I went through some of my old Pokemon cards. I'm honestly shocked at how much some are worth. Everyone change your avatar to Ditto. I love that. I think that would be a great, a great bit of um, encouragement for me there. Most expensive one was about 95. I think the most expensive one I have is probably like four or 500. It's that Charizard, but I'd have to get it graded. And so it's not graded. So right now it's worth like 150, but it would be worth, it would be, it would be worth up to four or 500 depending on how well it gets graded. 10 packs and bonuses for $45 dues. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Can't do it, dude. It, it kills me. It kills me, but here we are. We done did it. It's already been done. You can't take it back because I've already opened it and thrown away the receipt. So we're going to open up some pocket man cards here. So let's see. That, that's the way to get them up, up, up straight. I don't like how that's not, that's not zoomed in enough for me. I'm going to get it just a little more zoomed in. I can. Yeah. yeah, that'll do nicely. How much are individual packs? Uh, you're asking me questions that I don't pay attention to. I have no idea. It's definitely the best way to get them. It's the best deal for them. Um, nothing different about any of the packs, by the way. They're all identical, which kind of bugged me about this one. I wish that some of them weren't, but it is what it is. So we're gonna go through these. We're gonna unbox some Pokemon cards here, see what's going on with them. If you're unfamiliar with the with the Pokemon style of unboxing, first thing you do is you get a Pokemon Live card. You put that away because you're gonna scan that one in and get some more bonus cards online. But then you take the back three cards and you one, two, three them to the front. That way your last card is gonna be an energy card, which nobody cares about anyway. And then you go through your first ones and you end with your rarest card, yeah? Cool. I hope you get all the V cards. No, <laughs> I do hate that name, dude. I hate that name. It's the worst. Uh, so then you're gonna pull from the front. Your last card's gonna be your best card. Here we go. Moment of truth. Is the very first one gonna be a ditto? We'll find out, won't we? We'll see if I can find where this is. Okay, so the way you'll know it's a ditto is down here in the bottom. Uh, there's these little Pokeballs and one of them is gonna have a ditto on it. So we'll keep going through them until we find one that's got one, doggone it. Ooh, that's a sweet Ivysaur. I don't know if I got an Ivysaur last time. Badoof. So Badoof is one of the ones that's very likely to have it happen. Um, I think that um, I think there's like a crazy minimal chance of it even happening on these cards. I think it's only on the reverse hollers. I'm not sure, to be honest. All right, we got a pit of Magikarp, Matang, Meltan. Excuse me, not Matang. Come on, they're gonna give me a reverse pit of, and it's not gonna be a ditto. And then Blastoise. That's a sweet Blastoise. Hang on, let me just check it again. I'm gonna go through each and every one of them, just triple checking every time now. They're gonna really give me a reverse pit. Uh, they're gonna give me a reverse pit of and not make it a ditto, dude. 
Okay. All right. That's fine. We still got nine more. We still got nine more. We got nine more to go through. Here we go. Next one. Second pack. This is the one they're going to put a ditto in. They told me. You're feeling pack number three? We'll find out, Xando. Have all of you changed your avatars? Because if that's why, then that's why it hasn't happened yet. One, two, three to the front. Last one is always an energy. Fire energy this time. Here we go. Moment of truth. Let's go through them. Man, it's like it's like uh, my brain can't handle the... Um... I was there. They did tell you that. Yep. Lunatown. Pokestop. Lore module. Squirtle Squirt. Meltian. No. 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 That's a sweet Venusaur, dude. Dang it. Dang it! I'm getting such cool cards! I hate this. This happened last time, too. I got stinking cool cards, but none of them were ditto. I had great pulls last time, but not a single one is ditto. I love that Venusaur, dude. Look at that, man. That's a sweet card. Look at that art. He's like, wow, dude. Yeah. And I got the Mewtwo. Outrageous. Ooh, ooh. All right, pack number three. This is Zando's bet. Zando's bet. Zando said this is the pack. Pack number three. Let's go. What's up, K-Slew? How we doing? Welcome to the stream. Happy that you're here. One, two, three to the front. Moment of truth. V-card. Always. Love the V-card. I'll give my rant that I always do. This is just a V-star card, but you tell me that you open up a Pokemon card pack and you see this card and you don't get real excited thinking you've won a trip to the chocolate factory. That's the coolest looking card I've ever seen. It's matte black, dude. Matte black. Like I got a master card or something. Kills me. What's up, Trombone? Welcome to the chat. Rain plus cat. Welcome to the chat. How we doing? Welcome to the stream, my friends. Just filled out all the paperwork, so I'm officially for my job and heading to the dealership. Oh my goodness! Congratulations on the job. So exciting. All right. First up, we got a Luna. I'm telling you, my brain is going to explode. I'm going to leave a card next time rather than keep forgetting how to do this. Pokemon lore, Pokestop, whatever. Lore module, who cares? Not a ditto. Look here, there's not a ditto. Hey, look at this one. That one's not a ditto. Hey, look at this one. That's not a ditto. Hey, would you look at that? It's not a ditto. Hey, would you look at this one? That's such a cool card! Are you kidding me right now? What is this? What is this life, dude? What is this life? I got the radiant, shiny Venusaur. I got this sweet looking Venusaur and not a single ditto. It's hearing me. What's up, kitten fan? How are we doing? I'm just losing my mind over here. That is the sickest card I've ever seen. That is so cool. That is super rare. Oh, man. <laughs> what do you do? I'll show you. I don't know if everybody does this, but uh, I actually bought the the jumbo card book. So I um oh well, something fell out there. I actually have my my jumbo cards here in a jumbo card book, and I don't have many of them. But whenever I get them, I've got the booklet here. So yeah, I don't know. I got this from Walmart, I think, or maybe it was Target. It might have been Target. Yeah, Target had a big book, and so yeah, got the Bulbasaur, the classic Bulbasaur, the classic Squirtle, the classic Charmander. Got some pretty sweet stuff there. Yeah. So that's what I do with my jumbo cards. Um, I saw that somebody, excuse me, I saw that somebody had actually made a deck of them and I thought that was super, super fun. I got a shiny Ponyta in Pokemon Go this morning. It was super weird, unexpected. It was just in my backyard. <sighs> the jumbo cards, book, card books end up running out. Oh, okay. So you're saying like you have more jumbo cards than you have room in the book? After that, I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll go see if I can find another book. I have no clue. Man, that Radiant is super cool. Arrgh! All right, number th number four. Can I link you the card I was talking about? Sure. Thanks for the clip, Trombone. Forgive me, but why are you trying to get a ditto? Because it's super cool. Because it's super cool. You peel the card. You peel the card up. My dinner was excellent. I went to I went to a place in um, Huntersville? Was it Hunter? No, Gastonia. I went to a place in Gastonia called Webb's Custom Kitchen. Um, and ooh, mmm. Mmm, good. Very good. It's a old 1920s um, movie theater. 1920s, 1930s, 1940s, somewhere around there. <laughs> a long time ago. I don't know. Oh, it's off. 
Oh no, it's dead. Oh, the boom mic. Not, Not good. good. So yeah, Webb's Custom Kitchen. Um, very good. Very good. I found the specific one online uh, for making a good size jumbo size card holder. Very interesting. Well, that's super cool. Hey, Kitten Fan, if you want to drop that over in our Discord, over in, we have a whole section called TCGs, and you could certainly drop that link to the card holder. I'd be interested in knowing more about that. Really can't find this thing. All right, another pack. Another pack, pack number four. Pack number four. Be sure to change your avatar to Ditto to help me out. Help me get get lucky here. One, two, three to the front. Last one is, as always, our energy card. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. This is the one. Ditto, baby. Steelix. Not a Ditto. Is that two? Not a Ditto. Slowbro. Not a Ditto. Apom. Not a Ditto. Spinarak. Not a Ditto. Rattata, not a ditto. Willapod, Wimpod, excuse me, not a ditto. Adorable Pikachu, not a ditto. Chansey, not a ditto. I mean, I mean, I got a legendary bird. I got a lit, I got a literal legendary bird. I've got Mewtwo. I got a shiny Venusaur, but I can't get a ditto. What am I doing with my life? What's going on? Okay, all right, all right, okay, okay. I'm gonna keep a card here just to help me remember where. <laughs> put the thing. Wow, that's so cool. Such a cool Moltres. Ah! All right, all right, all right. Six more, yeah? Six more. <laughs> Moment of truth. Moment of truth. We're making it happen, Cap'n. This is the one, dude. This is the one. One, two, three to the front. The last one's energy. Nobody cares. What's it going to be? Steelix. I'm getting a lot of Steelixes. Steel Eye. Is that two? Is this the exact same pack that I just got? Steel Energy? I don't know. Rattata. Numel. Okay, so we don't we don't get all the same ones. Raticate. Tranquil. Larvitar. Tyranitar. Mewtwo. Another Mewtwo. Another sweet looking Mewtwo, dude. Another absolutely amazing looking Mewtwo. What is the deal? Look at this. This is like the this is the this is the glitter polished one. I mean, what is going on? Why can't I get Ditto, dude? I'm going back through them. I'm going back through them and I'm looking again. Looking again, I'm just making sure. Making sure I'm not missing it anywhere. There's no no more in here. Alright, 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 we're fine. Here we go. Next pack. Next one on the docket. Boom. Boom jams. We're going down. That thing is so cool. I know it's cool. I know it's cool, but I want a ditto. They're all very cool. One, two, three to the front. Here we go. Nobody cares about the energy. It's a water energy there. Ba -boink. Oh, whoopsie. I was about to go backwards. <laughs> oh, okay. First up, we got Ivysaur. Spark. I think I'm going to be making a Bulbasaur deck, you guys, because I got some sweet Bulbasaur cards. Chansey. Bulb. Natu. Hip a bomb. Nope. Slip up. Nope. Nope. I got a reverse spark. And then I got another Tyranitar. Stressing me out. Stressing me out. The all cards for energies are super cool. Special energies are my jams. Love them. Uh, Rain plus cat, you let me know. I'll play. I'll play anytime you want, dude. I'm all about it. I'm all about some, po some Pokemans. There's a cool place that uh, that has tables in Concord. You let me know. I'd love to play some Pokemons. Okay, I'm telling you, Mr. Nintendo Pokemon Man just contacted me. Okay, Mr. Struggle Dudes. Did he make this next one magically work for me? He said you should be expecting a Ditto in the fifth card in the next pack. One, two, three to the front. All right. Energy because nobody cares. It's dark energy. Here we go. Moment of truth, moment of truth. This is the one. Here's the first card. Ivysaur, not a ditto. Second card, Spark, not a ditto. Third card, Chansey, not a ditto. Fourth card, Meltan, not a ditto. Fifth card, Eevee. Not a ditto. Mr. Pokemon is alive. All right, Pikachu. Squirtle. Oh, I love that card too, that Bibarel's great. You're going to give me a reverse Magikarp and it not be a Ditto! I don't want a Magikarp! I want a Ditto! No! It's a super-
more cool, Sylveon. I, I, I've gotten more evolutions out of this than I got out of the evolution booster, dude. <laughs> it's such a cool Sylveon. Man. All right. You said it was the wrong pack. The next one is the fifth card. What's up, kitten fan? Thank you for the follow. Getting so angry. I'm getting so angry. I'm, I'm absolutely steamed. If I play Digimon and I don't get Terriermon, like if they're like, oh, actually, we decided not to put Terriermon in this game, I'm done, dude. I'm done. They're taking all of my favorite things from me. They're going to give me like a Weregururumon right from the get-go, and they're not going to give me a Terriermon, and I'm going to be like, I'm out! What point do I have if I don't get Terriermon in my life? All right. First card. Rare Candy. Great, great trainer card. War Turtle. Not a ditto. Candela, not a ditto. Charmander, not a ditto. Eevee, not a ditto. Numel, not a ditto. Medicate, not a ditto. <sighs> okay. Lore module. And super cool Blissey. Super cool floating Blissey. Super cool floating Blissey up above the clouds. I've got two packs left. I got two packs left. Two. Two. Right or left? Chat, pick the ditto, right or left? Pick it. First thing I see in the chat. Right or left, which one has the ditto in it? Right. It's unanimous. Maybe 30 bats here, throw it off! The energy! At least that Venusaur was a $10 card. Is that really all? One, two, three to the front. Energy. <sighs> Moment of truth. Soul Rock. Egg Incubator. Charmeleon. Magikarp, <laughs> not a ditto. Alibum, not a ditto. Pikachu, not a ditto. Articuno, a legendary bird. No, <laughs> you chose wrong. You chose wrong. It was maybe 30 bats all along. Fun fact, there are multiple sizes of jumbo cards. I did not know that. I did not know that. I've gotten two legendary birds and I can't get a ditto! Whew. All right. This is it. I mean, this is it. This is the last pack. No, Ouija will be out in a moment. Or should Ouija be the good luck card? I don't think, well, it's already open. <laughs> but I'll let, I'll let Luigi look at him. Okay. Okay, Ouija time. Ouija's gonna Ouija's gonna do the cards for us, alright? I'm not gonna look at them. Alright, moment of moment of truth. Here we go, everybody. Going to be eating a Dido. This is our last card. Last pack. This is the one. Nate is going to find the card and then it's going to unravel to actually be a gospel tract. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jack Chick is the only one that could help me at this point, huh? Alright. This is it, folks. Do you understand? This is it. Until I buy more cards. I'm not buying another ETB. I'm not doing it. It's a uh, war turtle. Yes. Yes, it does, Rain Plus Cat. You're correct. That's why I want it so bad. Candela, not a Dido. Charmander, not a Dido. Apom, he's not a Dido. Are you freaking out? I'm freaking out, Ouija. I'm freaking out. He's a Bulbazar. Nah, they did though. <laughs> you are going to get punked here again. I know I am, okay? Pit up. Nah, they did though. Come on! <laughs> I have gotten every reverse 
I have gotten every single reverse hollow. Oh, Ouija, Ouija. What am I gonna do, dude? That's it. And then an executor, V. I got another V. Oh no! That's it. Man, dude, I'm so disappointed. I'm just gonna do one more grand sweep. One more grand sweep, just to make absolutely sure I didn't miss one because I was looking at the camera or something. Just one more, just one more grand sweep, all the cards. Let's see if there's a, oh, down at the bottom. We're checking them all, baby. Even though I think it only happens on a reverse holo, we're checking them all. We're looking at every last one of these cards. You guys can stare at my, my, my hairline here. I'm losing my mind, you guys. <laughs> Dude, how could I get the reverse hollows for all the ones that it's supposed to be and none of them be the ditto? I have bought two ETBs and not gotten a ditto. I'm gonna have to buy more cards. I'm gonna have to buy more cards, you guys. I don't want more cards. I don't want them. That's it. What's up, Wit? How we doing? How's it going? I'm just losing my mind over here. Just losing my marbles. No big deal. Just absolutely losing it. Oh, man. Well, it is quite a pronounced ditto, yes. It's quite a pronounced ditto. I, I, I can't imagine that I would have missed it. I was just hoping. I was. It was wishful thinking, okay? Rain, or whoever it is, Elando. It was very wishful. Very wishful, and it didn't happen. I don't want more cards. I'm an MTG player. I can assure you that is never the case. I have my MTG cards still. I have them around here somewhere. I haven't looked at them in a long time. Um, but I did, I used to love them, dude. I used to love, I had a sliver deck that was my favorite. It was very annoying. Uh, and then I think I had a blue black that was really fun. We have everybody here. Yeah, what's up everybody? How we doing? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Checkpoint. Welcome to the chat. We're glad that you're here. We're gonna play some Digimans. We have Mr. Pokemon, the Yu-Gi-Oh! And now Magic the Gathering, yep. Man, is there something in you that is unable to buy singles? No judgment? No, I'll buy singles. I can, and the only reason I bought an ETB was because I was like, certainly it's the best deal, and certainly if I buy 10 packs, one of them will have it. I've now been through 26? I think I've bought 26 packs, and not a single one of them has had a ditto in it, dude. What are the odds, man? What are the odds? Driving me crazy. Absolutely bonkers. I can't believe it, but here we are. Another <laughs> another Pokemon card unboxing session. And uh, yes, Wit, please, more unboxings. They're always fun. I love them, I love them, I love them. What do we have back there? The lack of ghetto is just going to... Ditto, not, di not ghetto. ghetto. Ditto is going to just pay back from the other day when I told Ouija what the I on the hat stood for. Just saying... I'm so confused by that message. I might be near Target today. Want me to get some packs? If you can find them, they're they're difficult to find. The truth is, is that I the, the ETB was really all they had available. Um, I think there might have been no. I don't think there was any, any three packs. I think it was just the ETB. I was lucky to find one. Um, but the Pokemon Go Go packs are what just released, so they're super popular. So it's hard to find. But maybe if they're out. Ah, rats, dude. <laughs> ETB. It's an elite trainer box. It looks like this. It was like this, only put together. It was like a, right there. ETB. It comes with all the swag. It comes with all the swag inside. It's an ATV. You ride it. You ride the you ride the Pokemon cards around. It's real fun. Real fun, real fun. Okay. Well, we're gonna play some Digimans. Uh, thanks, folks, for being here, for being the stream. We are Checkpoint Church of the Church for nerds, geeks, and gamers. Just to let you know, I decided to post where I found the solution, not just the solution, because they have a lot of neat facts. I love neat facts about Pokemon Trading Card Game. If you could find the neat fact that is, when are they going to release the doggone uh, online update, the new online game, that would be wonderful. You know so little about TCG or Pokemon in general? I, I, uh, I know a lot about Pokemon, and I know a lot about the TCG. I would say I know more about Pokemon in general than I do about the Trading Card Game in particular, but both, all of the above. Yes, it is correct. That was also where I found out about the multiple sizes. Yeah, I had no idea there were multiple sizes. So what are the other sizes? What other sizes are available? 
I wish I, I must have really messed up that message than what I was saying. This is payback for when you told Luigi. Oh, with the L on his hat the other day. So far, Luther. What did you say? How dare you tell me that? I am glad. I am glad you did not get a ditto. I am happy for you. I'm happy that you didn't because you are bad. You're a bad man. You call it loser. I did not say you were a loser. First off, your name isn't Luigi. It doesn't even stand for your name. Your name is Ouija. You're, there's something totally different, my friend. You're not even Luigi. Yes, well, the point stands. You're a jerk. You deserve it. That's cruel. It's cruel. It's cruel to say that I deserve something. That's not very, that's not very do no harm of you, my friend. We've got three rules here. Do good, do no harm, strive to grow. And you should know that. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I did not mean to. You do, it's okay. It's all right, Ouija. I understand. You know, we, we all get frustrated sometimes, and it's all right. It's fine. Bigger Jumbo and Biggest Jumbo. Very interesting. Very interesting kitten fan. I'm very curious. I'm very curious. I'll have to see if I can find some. You get an example in the video. Ouija the timeout. Timeout, Ouija. All right. Let's go play some Digimans, yeah? Boing. Oh, no signal. So, for those of you that don't know the story, Digimon survive. Uh-oh. That ain't good. It didn't charge. No! Not good! All right, well, this will just have to be frustrating. I'll have to play Wired. <laughs> Love it. Uh, Digimon Survive was supposed to come out, like, literal years ago and is just now coming out. Um, let's see. I wonder, I wonder when. I wonder how long ago was it supposed to come out. Let's see if we can find the wiki. Wiki, wiki. Wiki, wiki, when was this, this game first announced? All right, I gotta go. See ya. See ya, Taco. The person that had a jumbo Pikachu and a bigger jumbo. Xenoblade 3. Yes, I am playing Xenoblade 3 on my own right now. But FF9 for Switch last night. Very fun. I want to see when this was first announced, dude. It was first announced forever ago, dude. July 2018. So it was announced on 2018, and it was supposed to come out in 2019, and then it was delayed to 2020, and then it was delayed to 2021, and then it was delayed to 2022, March, and then it was delayed to October of 20, oh, excuse me. It was delayed to March 2022, then it was delayed the final time to July 29th, 2022. So it has been delayed one, Two, three, four times. Four times. It's a lot of times to be delayed. Not quite as many. It was. It was at the exact same time as Cyberpunk too. I remember it well. Yeah, I'm. I'm all about Xenoblade. I'm playing that on my own personal playthrough, and uh, I'm very excited. I'm about an hour and a half in, and I'm enjoying it a lot. But I need to change over the category real fast. Let's see. If you guys ever want to keep up on the on the day to day of what games I'm playing, you can follow me on Backlogged. I always try to update. <laughs> the title Digimon Survive refers to its production period. Yep, movie, movie, game, and Gotcha. Oh, they're actually not not yet, but next time um, I will have new Gotcha puns. I know, I know. I don't like it either. I I have my Pro Controller here and <laughs> I'm straight I'm just plugged in, uh, not even to the Switch. I'm just plugged into the uh, to a, a, a doggone on plug here. Um, movie, movie, game, and gotcha. By the way, I have new gotchas. Um, not today, but I'll implement them soon. Of course, homie. I wish I had a Marge impression. I do not. All right, let's see. Beans. <laughs> Zando. <laughs> Classic Zando, dude. Right or left, my friend. Right or left. How are we not out of beans yet? I feel like I've done so many beans. Whew. We can always count on beans. After, after, Literally after I've been tortured. I've been tortured to not get a ditto. And now you're gonna make me eat these nasty beans. Do I have anything around me? Do I have anything to eat? I have nothing around me to eat. I think I have a Kit Kat over there, worst case scenario. It is not ditto covered. It's actually the vomit one. <laughs> we love that. Oh. Ugh. Oh, it's actually not that bad. What is that? If that's vomit, then that is a very mild vomit. It's gross, but it's not that. Uh. Gross, but it's not that bad. Gross, but, uh. Okay, dog food smell. All right. Mm -hmm. 
but it's like it grows on you. <laughs> there was a delay. It was a delayed, it was a delayed disgust. It's still in there, man. It's deep, dude. It's deep back. Deep back there. All right, Rain Plus Cat, here you go. Thank you, Adam. You gotta be kidding me, dude. <laughs> right or left, Rain? Right or left, my friend? Loathe you guys, loathe all of you. All right, right or left, let's keep it right. Bottoms up. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. What is that? It's like strawberry. Mmm. Oh, that's nice after the roast bean. Yeah. Very nice. Splash, gotcha pun. Chloe, you got it. Should I reverse time if we don't get what we want from a guy in I think that's what Rain wants to do. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. It is ba -da -ba 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 -ba, another page out of my book. Read Nate's book. You got it. Uh, so for those of you that are new to the stream, um, I wrote a book whenever I was 10 years old. It's real bad and real uncomfy to read, but we're gonna read it anyway. So let me pull up uh, some, some RNG real quick. We read a random page without context every time. Page 139 this time. And don't worry, Zando, I have not forgotten about your movie movie game. I have not forgotten. We're gonna make it happen. We of course need some piano backing, so let's hang on. Let's find our piano, peaceful piano track here. Uh, all right, page 139 of the Mirror Mural. Um, why switch light mode? I um, I don't know. This is not my usual switch. This is the checkpoint switch. And so I've never honestly thought to do anything other than light mode because I don't really do this. All right, this is kind of a, so this is kind of a short page, you can see, yeah? You can see how it's kind of short, how I messed up the spacing. So I'm gonna read two pages. I'm gonna read this, this page 138 and 139 as a kind of um, make good, okay? We're gonna do a make good. You guys get two pages. Look at you. Um, so again, this is presented without context. The Mirror Mural, a book written by a 10 year old, Nathan, uh, who doesn't mind embarrassing himself now that he's 28. <clears throat> All right, Darren stood up and walked out the door. Let's go, sir, the lady told him. Slice! Darren cut the lady's head clean off. No bloodshed at all. Tell you what, next time you try to trick me, find a better way. He kicked the corpse out of the way and opened the brick door that his opponent had hidden. Phew, thank you, sir. The real receptionist came out and behind the brick door. She had me knocked out. How'd you know that wasn't her, I asked. I only told these people my name was Death D, so how could they have known my name? Darren explained, I guess they said his name on the page before. <laughs> Darren explained, oh, I replied. Well, they could have overheard me calling you Darren. Huh? Darren gasped, oh crap. Don't worry, she was your opponent, the receptionist told him. First house, right. Name withdrawn, fighting Nathan Webb. I just put my whole name in this book. <laughs> fighting Nathan Webb. Of course you could have guessed that, the lady told us. I was going to have to fight the girl. All right. Chapter 30, titled Nathan's Defeat. I wonder what happens to me in this chapter. So, you think Nathan's gonna lose? Yeah, he's not here, Brady replied, but that girl is. This is bad. Darren brushed back through his thick hair. Really bad, Paul corrected him. What can we do about it, Brady asked. Uh, pray, Paul suggested. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. No. no, no, oh boy, get out of here! <laughs> yeah! Mm. All right, this is the part of the book where my atheist friend <laughs> prays. <laughs> you weren't ready for that, the Jesus juke coming out of nowhere, dude. Mm. Sure, why not? 
<laughs> this is so hilarious, man. Darren sighed and began to recite as if he were the Pope, which is the thing that people say. That's a normal thing that people say. People say that he prayed as if he were the Pope. Our Father, again, the Pope would say this. Certainly not Italian. Our Father, who art in heaven, to you. <laughs> please, please help our friend Nathan prevail in this battle against a girl we don't even know. Let your mercy reign upon us. Amen. <laughs> Oh, no! Oh, and then they respond. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> oh, no! Not problematic, Nathan! Not problematic! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no! <laughs> Wish for the best, I suppose, dear inside. Just don't die, Brady yelled. Scene change back at the arena. Oh my goodness, what even, dude? <laughs> I did not write a prayer. I did not write a prayer, dude. I totally did. Oh man, that's funny. Holy moly. I was just so not expecting a prayer. <laughs> oh man. And then praying as if you were the Pope. <sighs> Can I use that on Sunday? Yeah, yeah, please use that prayer. Oh my goodness, dude. How very, very, very problematic of me. First off, it's a prayer in battle. <laughs> oh, and apparently the prayer doesn't win. Apparently I'm defeated. So I, I don't know. I guess it doesn't work out very well for me. And again, that that is my friend who I knew at the time was an atheist. And so I wonder, why, like, was I... Was I trying to be like, mm, gotcha? You might not, you might not pray for real, but I'm gonna make you pray in, in my book. <laughs> what, dude? Holy moly, that is so funny. That is absolutely absurd. Let's play some movie movie game. Woo! That might be my favorite page so far. I don't know. Our very first page we ever read was pretty good, but wowzers, wowzers, unexpected. <laughs> All right, so the way this works, uh, the movie movie game is a combination of two movie titles, and somebody has written the description of the two movies as if they were combined. I'm going to read the description. <laughs> I'm going to read the description. Zando redeemed this, so Zando gets to answer first. Do not type your answer in the chat, even if you know it, until Zando gives it a shot. If Zando doesn't know it, which the odds are pretty slim, if Zando doesn't know it, feel free to grab it up from him. But otherwise, we'll just all laugh at the answer together. Let's see if I know this one. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Uh, two fallen angels attempting to re-enter heaven are pursued by a divine crew that includes two stoners and an SNL guy that just needs some gum, that soda can, and a paperclip to solve the intense problem. This is a really good one. I don't even know if you'll need me to read that twice. Two fallen angels attempting to re-enter heaven are pursued by a divine... Yeah, you, you got it. <laughs> oh, well, no, you actually didn't. Do you know the name? It's not MacGyver. It's the SNL one. That's the only, that's the only correction, but I think you know it. It's the other one. Have you got it? Dog McGruber. Dog McGruber. So good, dude. That's a great one. That's a great, that's a great movie, movie game. Chats in the clap for Xando. Dog McGruber. We need more Jason Lee movies. What was the last movie he's been in, dude? Feels like it's been forever, yeah? All right, we gotta play some Digimans. We gotta play some Digimans. All right, I assume this game has music. I assume this is not a silent game, so we're gonna go ahead and cut back the music. Um, and we'll play, we'll play a checkpoint account. The last movie I saw him in was the Jay and Silent Bob reboot. It's been a long time. He's just, he's just cruising on that My Name is Earl money, dude. Just cruising on by, or on that, probably more like on that Chipmunks music. <laughs> music, Chipmunks movie money. Oh boy, I'm sweating. I'm sweating over here from laughing so hard. I'm telling you, I just, I was so not anticipating a straight up prayer. Oh man, do I stand for anything, dude? <laughs> I loved My Name is Earl, that was a great show. 
Very funny. I guess the game's broken. I don't think it's going to start. Oh, no, I see a little Agumon running down there. It's loading. All right. Oh, yes. We love Bandai Namco. I honestly think Bandai Namco might be my favorite game producer. I'm not going to lie. I just love anime. I love anime so much. All right. That just feels unnecessarily dramatic. Digimon survive. Ooh. Oh, look at that art. Oh, do you hear that emotional music? What is this? Is this Digimon Final Fantasy, dude? Accept, accept, accept. Added an extra monster. Start with Galmon, very nice. Can I start with Terrymon? Blizzard used to be my favorite, but they made a lot of yeah, yeah. That's not that's not my favorite anymore by any means. If it ever were, let's see if we got good settings. Good. There's voice volume. Don't want any skip it. Don't want any transparency. Battle speed is probably fine. We'll just see. I've heard the story gets very dark. I'm all about it. Look at that. We're on a cell phone screen here, huh? Oh, I'm hitting the I'm hitting the B button. Goofy Gus. Um, how do I go back? Can I just go back? There we go. All right, Digiman survive. Can you guys hear okay? Let me know if you can't hear it. Here we go. I hope MS cleans them up. We'll see. Ooh. <laughs> Let's see if there's voice acting. Oh, it's Japanese. Is it all Japanese? <laughs> <laughs> it might be all Japanese, and that's going to be tricky. Um, let's see is it, if it's still echoey if I do this. Is it still echoing? I'm scared! We might have to try, because I, I would much rather hear it dubbed, dude. Gotta be real. I'm not seeing it. I think it's just, I think it's subbed, my friends. Well, that's not going to work very well for our stream here in here in our very English stream. All right. Uh, you know what? Then I guess I'll do this. You guys are getting some voice acting then. Welcome to Voice Acting Central with, with Nate. Don't worry, we're okay. Come on over here. It is spoopy already, isn't it? I love the like weird like VHS. Yeep! Yeep! Oh no! They made it over here already! I turned you down! Get away from there! I won't let you lay a hand on them. The dark side is a path to abilities some consider unnatural. You guys! There's just the slightest little bit- okay. There's just the slightest little bit of, um... Trying to read. Interesting. Let me check the stats. I realize this is a weird time to ask, but will you be streaming the Pokemon Direct on Wednesday? So we mentioned that a little bit ago. On Wednesday, I normally, I'm going to be trying to do my sermon talkbacks on our weekly sermons. But because they're having a Pokemon Direct, I'm going to be doing a, um... By the way, did the echo get any better? Because I am, uh, going to be streaming anyway, we're going to stream a little early, 8.30, and we'll watch the Direct together after the talkback. Okay. Time to learn the basics. Here we go. In battle, the order in which monsters act is determined by their speed. Let's start with movement. Press A to choose the move command. Okay. The area displayed on the grid represents the range of your character's movement. You can rotate the camera with this. Why not with the obviously better? Okay, I guess because it's, it's only got four options. Okay, that's fine. It's also important to switch over to the camera to get a full grasp of your situation. Now move to the blinking square. Okay. Whew. I gotta sneeze. Bless you! Excuse me. Just let me do it. Stop talking. Move your cursor. Yes. I will. I will. Yes. 
I did it! Ha ha ha! Now let's prepare an attack. I will. Press A to choose the attack command. I will do it. And then I will do the attack. Here you can see information on the skills you can use. Okay, so we got an area and a range. Um, I don't know what the one hour is doing. I'm about to sneeze again, you guys. I got the sneezes. Special abilities. Pay attention to how each one works. Deals earth damage to targets. First, let's see what happens with an ordinary attack. Attacking does not cost SP. As well, it shouldn't. Confirm attack from the skill list. Press A to confirm. Ba boom. Ba bam. Elemental affinities, uh, critical hit percent, and more are also shown, so pay close attention. I'm about to sneeze again! It's coming! It's coming! <coughs> <laughs> it snuck up on me and then I wasn't prepared! Counterattack percent is particularly important. This is the chance the enemy will counter your attack. I figured. Put the cursor on the enemy using this and press A. Ba bam Nice! Choose end turn to finish your turn. Done. At the end of your turn, you can face in direction with this. Okay, that's fine. You can take more damage if attacked from the side, so choose carefully. Okay, got you, got you, got you. Direction that I face. So it's just, so far, it's just a good old classic SRPG. Thanks for the lurk, Sneaky, I see that. Uh, it's important to check up the other units. Uh, switch to the free cursor to get more info. Press B to switch to cursor. You can move the free cursor anywhere on screen, try putting it over an enemy. Got a lot of enemies. Hover the cursor over a unit to see if it's info displayed on the upper right. You got it. Be more detailed by pressing X. That's odd. For some reason, you can't see any information about this enemy. There's nothing more to learn here. Press B. You got it. That didn't reveal anything useful. Switch back to the regular cursor and just go all out. Press B to switch back from the cursor. There is no ordinary foe. Aim for the extra damage by attacking from behind. You got it. Move the blinky screen. Got it. You got it. You really don't have to tell me that. You could just say move, you could just say attack from behind. Boom. Use a skill for big damage. But you got it. Blue blaster. Blue blaster. Papa. Ooh, that's not enough damage. You dealt extra damage. It doesn't seem to have taken much. Is this enemy too powerful to defeat? I bet it is. End our turn. Oh, I see the little turn dial over there, too. I sure do wish I could turn off the voice volume, though, like it asked me to. <sighs> Why, I oughta... Schmack. Quar! As one says. Not the children! No, little girl! No! I won't let you harm these children any more than you already have! You're a child! You're also a child. We're all equally children. If we can just get to that place, I don't know. I'd be more scared of the giant black hole than I would the spooky scary monster. But yes, we'll be watching the Pokemon Direct live. Ah, Miyuki, I'm okay. Go, head for that light. Run, Haru, get out of here. No way, I'm not leaving you behind. What are you doing? Go on, hurry. Oh, that was a girl. It's no good. I can't hold them back anymore. Look out! Eve! What the? It's sucking me in! Oh, if anything happened to you, I'd... You have to get back safe on your own somehow. Ah! Spooky hands! Ah! Spooky hands! No! Spooky hands! Miyuki! I gotta save her! But I, I can't! Into the black hole you go! Miyuki! Wait for me! I'll rescue you, Miyuki! No matter what! Will you, though? Prologue. Love the suspenders and shorts. It's a classic. It's a classic. You can't go wrong. You really can't go wrong. Oh! Animatic! But I'm going to mute screen avatars for just a second so we can read the screen here. You guys want to watch anime with me? <laughs> Am I going to get claimed? I've always wanted to watch anime with you guys.
Mew's not there. Is that the Matt TK combo we got going on here? Snow mixed with cherry blossom sounds really nice. Super weird ice cream. I don't know. I've had some pretty weird ice cream flavors. I had red bean. I had red bean ice cream in California a couple years ago. California. They love their bucket hats and Digimans. Red bean's awesome. Anything floral, though, I don't know. I feel like they would taste very similar. Very earthy. That's why this game took so long to make, is they made a literal anime with it. I guess Takuma is probably um, our... Oh, what? Hang on. What's up now? What's up now? What's up now? Well, now I'm going to get DMCA'd for a song. One DMCA for another, huh? I wonder when they make a sequel to another. So was that in the past or the future? So this is camp, huh? Right, I'm guessing this is our Thai character. Oh wait, this isn't school. This is the camp we were at. Okay, 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 okay. Man, look at all these characters. This is like ding, ding, dang and rumpa. I say camp, but we're holed up in an abandoned school in the mountains here. We'll leave it to us to spend our school break going to another school. Not that this school is anything like the one we usually go to. What's up, Takuma? Today we're checking out that crusty old landmark? Sounds lame. Come on, don't say that, Minoru. It's not like I disagree, but still. Hey, you two, don't talk like that. I told you we weren't here for fun and games. Yeah, yeah, so sorry, Your Highness. <sighs> Again with that kind of talk. I was about to say, this looks a lot like the school from Nan Nan Biori. I can't say that I've played that one, but I know that it's spooky. Spooky times, isn't it? I feel like that's spooky times? Maybe I'm thinking of another one. That knucklehead over there is Minoru, and the girl lecturing him is Aoi. I didn't talk to him much at school. Aoi's cool. She came here from a different school. We got to know each other more here at camp, and that's most likely thanks to Minoru. The three of us ended up doing our extracurricular activities together. Ah, oh, wow! Decisions! This is a visual novel! Oh my goodness! Okay, alright, alright, I actually wasn't expecting it to. I think you're thinking of another one. NMB is a slice of life anime about kids who grew up in the country. Cool. I have to add it to the list. Add it to the analyst. Another place to follow me if you want to find out what I'm watching, reading, and playing. As you play the games, okay. I love this. You'll have anywhere from two to four options to choose from. This is my this is my my steez, dude. Yes. Oh, we love it. Your decisions will affect your affinity with different characters and influence the story. Your affinity will other characters influences the battle back up and they give another during combat. Good afternoon. What's up, big doggo? Happy Monday. Different results if you treat everyone equally as opposed to focusing on one person. You can check your affinities from the main menu, so don't forget to keep an eye on them. Um, obviously going with Owie. Waifu for Laifu. She's a child. <laughs> I love young love, okay? What's today's route, Owie? We're starting at the cherry blossom trees, right? Today we're going here, and then I think over here. And do you know why, Minoru? Something about local legends or religion, right? They say there's some weird stuff. Not that it matters to me, I'm just here for fun in the sun. 
Uh, you're the only one I can rely on, Takuma. Keep an eye on him, would you? I'm not Minoru's babysitter over here. Look at his eyes. Oh my gosh, that was real fear. Oh, wow. Huh? What is it? Looks like Minoru's noticed something on his phone. A landslide. Check it out, there's another story about a rock slide. That's several days in a row now. I hope it doesn't mean an earthquake's coming. Not just that, but look here! Isn't this close to where we're supposed to go today? Wait, really? I wonder if our plans for the day are still on. Is there an adult here? You can feel the tension in the air around here. Someone must have shared the news. Such a JTV thing. Uh, JTV is how I was watching Doctor Who and a bunch of other shows and how I found my Doctor Who people. All right, everyone, calm down. Everything's going to be just fine. I don't know what this guy's voice is. All the teachers have clear instructions for dealing with any emergency. This teacher looks as old as I am. Shuji is an alumnus of Aoi school, so he came to help chaperone. Okay, that's why he's so young. The teachers and chaperones are ensuring our safety, so there's nothing to worry about. Fear not, fellow students. Our destination is this historic landmark. Off we go! Got 50 minutes before more lurk, but I had to check this out. Any hot takes so far? I mean, I'm already obsessed with the fact that it's a visual novel. For realsies, like I get to make choices and stuff. Um, art's beautiful. Uh, background work is fantastic. The animation was beautiful. And um, we'll see. So far, the gameplay has just been tutorial, so I really haven't gotten any feel for the gameplay. But it already kind of reminds me of like a Fire Emblem SRPG, which I'm just fine with. I am just fine with a Fire Emblem S Digimon game. Yeah, we'll see. There he goes, at it again. That Shuji is too straight-laced for his own good. Is that any way to talk about someone two years older than you? Two years, dude! And now he looks way older than two years. He looks way older than two years older than us, okay. Right you are, my little owie. That's a weird thing. Do I have to remind you, Minoru, that I'm actually in a grade above yours? I mean, shouldn't you act like it did or something? You should be more of a nag, like, I told you to knock that off! Does that sound like something I would say? Let's go before we're left behind. Takuma? <laughs> yeah, come on, Takuma, let's hit it! Here we go. But I'm going to get Terriermon before the end of stream, if that's a thing. If I'm able, I'm getting Terriermon by the end of stream. Love that bunny boy. And his little guns. Doing good, just relaxing while I wait for my sister-in-law picking me up to take me to her house, then on to my appointment. Gotcha, you, gotcha. You. Oh wow, the cherry blossoms are in full bloom. Everyone stops on the way to landmark in to the landmark to take in the flowers. Man, is this spring or is this spring, am I right? Right. Maybe the abundance of nature here brings out the beauty of these blossoms. Can we take a breather? I'm glad we came here, or we should hurry on ahead. Hmm. I mean, if it were me, I would probably take a breather so that we could like bask in the in the beauty of the flowers, yeah? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask for a breather. It's so pretty around here. Should we take a breather? What was that about wrathfulness at the top? What was that though? Okay. You know that's out of the question. Try to take it all in as we walk. <laughs> I was just joking anyway. I didn't, I wasn't joking. I thought that that would be a nice idea. Oh, looks like Saki and Ryu bit us here to the punch. They did go on ahead of us after all. The guy shooting daggers at everyone is Ryo, an older kid from another school. The girl who's all smiles there is Saki. Her looks are famous in the grade below ours. Weird, okay. They must be here to enjoy the cherry blossoms too. And then again, I could be wrong in Ryo's case. Wow, look how beautiful it is. These flowers are so pretty. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of person gets all grumpy in front of a bunch of blooming cherry blossoms? But man, talk about a waste. Gorgeous weather and we're doing extracurricular nonsense. What does one have to do with the other? <laughs> I thought as much. We're not in any real rush. Might as well look around here some more. I like his purple eyes. Gotta love the anime color eyes. As you play the game, you'll be presented with choices of where to go or who to talk to. Use L to select a target. Try targeting one of the students walking along the tree-lined path in the distance. Campers. You can also switch with L and R. Try switching targets while you have one selected. Once you've selected a target, press A to move to the next step. 
Who you talk to and in what order may advance the story. You can target more than just characters or keep an eye out for unexpected discoveries. So wait, do I only get to talk to one? I want to talk to Rio. I want his purple eyes. Okay, eyes. Okay. I want to talk to him in his purple eyes. All right, let's look at the cherry trees. Cherry trees lining the path are all in full bloom with gorgeous petals fluttering down. I'd love to just sit here and gaze at them for a while. Stream. What if it's just like, you dive in and drown yourself in the stream, Digimon, survive! And it just like cuts in, like blood, the, uh, the 007 blood drift on the screen. If I listen closely, I can hear the sound of a babbling brook. You'd never hear something like that in the city. It's sort of comforting. All right, what's up, Minoru? Hey, Takuma, did you know that the leaves of the cherry blossoms are poisonous? Where's Monokuma-mon, right? <laughs> Hello there! Um, that's why you never see any weeds growing underneath them. Huh, is that right? Wait, don't people eat those sometimes? <laughs> well, sure. They're fine if you pickle them first. Huh, you sure know some weird things, man. Oh, character building. Owie, what's up? The flowers are certainly beautiful in full bloom. <laughs> yeah, that and the weather makes you want to sit down and take a load off for a while. <laughs> now that won't do. We have to stick to our designated course. Hi, aye, aye, ma'am. All right, we gotta remember Owie. Owie likes to move on ahead. Owie is not interested in lingering. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, I'm so tired. This camp is weak. Yeah, totally weak sauce. Uh, well, at least we get a few bars out here. We can kill a little time with that. For real? I can't even get a signal at the school building. Oh, <laughs> man. What a hunk of junk you're lugging around. Cool. Weak sauce. I wonder who adapted this one. All right, Saki. Saki, I feel like you need a different voice from Owie. She is what crawled up your backside and died. Search me. Let me guess. Shuji and the teachers gave you flack for your cheerful disposition. You don't know what you're talking about. Sure, sure. Whatever you say. Come on. It's time to go. All right. All right already. Forward. Oh, no. I can talk to him. Okay. Rio! Anyway, how long do you plan on following me around? What do you mean? Or what do you expect? Who knows what you'll do if I take my eyes off you, Rio? So you're my supervisor now? Clearly you're not the type to be left to your own devices. Just shut up. Walks away. Now is that any way to talk to a cute girl like me? Don't clip that. Don't, uh, don't, don't, uh, don't clip that. Is that any way to talk to a cute girl? Saki's heading for the landmark, chasing Ryo as he continues belly aching. Let's do it. Landmark time. Nope. No, or Owie, either one. I want to talk to Owie first, of course. Ma'am, is it? Finally, some good manners. Oh, uh, sure, that's what I was going for. Man, I wish she'd back off a bit, you know? Read the room a little, so to speak. I suppose it depends on how you look at it. She can be outspoken at times, to be sure. But she's also cheerful, cute, and quite amicable. The sort of honesty you sense from her, I quite like it. I think I, I think there was another scene there. I think I just skipped scenes. Whoa, where did all that come from? They spell woe correctly. Winner, winner, Terratin game! She just seems a bit radiant, don't you think? I, I see. Still, she goes a bit overboard. A big sister like me has to look out for her. <laughs> okay. Minoru. Those two get along way better than I figured they would. More like Saki can get along with anyone. That Rio is a real pain, too. She must be some kind of saint. Now, is that any way to speak about him? All of us need to work together. I never heard anything come out of his mouth that wasn't a complaint about something. I can kind of relate, to be honest. It's like looking at how I used to be. Kind of embarrassing. You sure he's older? Your past self? Is that something a middle schooler is supposed to say? Then again, I suppose an adolescent boy would say such things. Saki's the exact opposite. The way she comes at you head on makes her seem more grown up. We only just met here at camp, but she acted like we're all best buds from square one. I think you resemble her in that regard, Minoru. Yeah, he's the one who broke the ice with us after all. Indeed, head on, as you would say. Huh? Gee, guys, knock it off with the compliments. My ego can only take so much. That wasn't a compliment. <laughs> Love it. Love it! Let me know more about their story! Would you look at those flowers? How wonderful! 
Hey, did you know, Owie? There's all there's say there's always a dead body under every cherry blossom tree. Cool. I don't want to hear about that right now. I'd rather we head towards the historic landmark if we could. Weird thing to randomly drop. Everyone went this way. Looks pretty rocky up that path, huh? What a pain. Are we gonna get trapped in the woods? It was a normal conversation on a normal day with friends. Well, normal other than the camping part. But it wasn't going to be. At least, that's what I thought. Until the Fire Nation attacked. Oh, not classic Rinpy. Rinpy jumping up and down to move. Love it. We cleared the tree-lined path, and then we headed up the trail. <gasps> huh? Look at that! Huh? Why is there a police car here? Oh no. It looks like the road is blocked off from here. You're right, there's a lot of tape that says keep out. Hmm. Maybe it's related to the rock slide Minoru was talking about? You're Minoru! Oh man, did I call it or did I call it? Just fine, right, Takuma? Oh dear, this poses a problem. There's only one path to landmark through here. Something about turning off a white noise machine is so nice. Uh, agreed. We, we bought one just now for baby number two, and it's got an eight hour setting, which is such a long time for white noise, and it is like bliss whenever it turns off. That landmark, what was its deal again? This is why I told you to review the site of the ritual related to the kimonogami. Those kimonogami things really don't ring a bell. You mean the beast gods? Nothing we can do about it. Our only option is to head back for now. We've come all this way, might as well get the lowdown on what went down here. Let's see what the people gathered in front of the police car have to say. Loves it so loud, yeah. See, we had the shusher with baby number one. And so straight up we would just be like, Alexa, shush my baby, and it would go, shh, 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 all night long. And it got real old real fast. So I almost kind of prefer the white noise. If I had to choose between the two, I'd choose white noise. Maybe I should ask the police officer what's going on here. Yo, police officer, tell me more. Excuse me, did something happen here? Hmm, there was a... <laughs> that was too, <laughs> too deep. Too deep, too quick. <laughs> okay. There was a landslide up ahead around dawn, so the road's been sealed off. <laughs> I don't like that voice for him at all. All right, H-Man, here we go. Got you, fun. Thanks, Eminem. Always appreciate you lurking in the chat, Marshall. Ooh, the yellow Chaos Emerald. I can get it in. Dos mas. Dos mas. Two, two Chaos Emeralds left until we're done. Oh, that must be the one we read about online earlier. Okay, good, his voice is done. <laughs> Let's hope that voice goes away, Yuki. Owie, what's up? Oh dear, we can't proceed with things like this. He's so much for exploring the great outdoors. Guest camp is canceled. I don't know about all that. Still, perhaps we should turn back for now. Was that a Pac-Man? What? Oh, it's just, it means maybe I have already talked to her? Is that what the Pac-Man means? A landslide? For really reals? Man, I think the guys that went ahead are okay? They're dead. They're dead. No childish jibes? I suppose you wouldn't be so callous as to joke at a time like this. Of course, even I know when to watch my mouth. Sometimes, maybe. There's an old sign here. Let's read the old sign. The letters are so faded I can't make out what the sign is supposed to say. It must be really old. Police officer, no, I don't want to talk to him more. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the area ahead is off limits. Yeah, we already had this conversation. Seems we can't get through here. What's the plan? Should we head back for now? No way! What? I can hear someone kicking up a fuss. Never heard that phrase. Kicking up a fuss. 
Hey, look! That's Ryo and Saki over there! Oh, who's that? That's Mia, right? I guess they went ahead, but I guess they took the long way around? More importantly, who's that girl, I wonder? Okay, you listen to <laughs> Meowth! These rock slides are retribution from the Kimono Gani! Retribution in this day and age? Give me a break. Yes, when. <laughs> what the voice is that? I don't like it at all! Yeah, when disrespectful outsiders cause trouble on the mountain, they get mad! This holy mountain is the Kimono Rium, a sacred shrine to the Kimono Gami! This is no place for someone to just wander around. The heck's a Kimonorium? I bet it's some weird rock or bear carving. They worship that stuff in the boonies. Chill out, Ryo. She's just a kid. You don't have to get so nasty with her. I have a feeling Mew's going to be a permanent character, so maybe I'd better work on a better voice. <laughs> nasty? I was just... Hmm. The boonies, you say? How rude! This is the site of a glorious shrine. Not some new imitation, but a historic legendary shrine known only to locals. A shrine? You mean like the ones supposed to have ancient gods? I've read about those before. Gods of the harvest, of fertility, or things like that. Nah, this is different. Those are ancient beast gods known only to the locals. I've known all about these gods ever since I came here. Sounds like a fairy tale to me. It isn't. They're real. What's your name, kid? It's Mew. What's your name? I'm Saki, and this guy with the toot is Ryo. So Mew, do you think you could take us to the hidden shrines you're talking about? Take you? Mm, I guess so. Curious, huh? You don't really believe in this stuff, do you? I'm telling you, it's real! Why not? Our trip's been canceled. It's not like we don't have the time. All we have waiting for us back at camp is some busy work, right? You hate that stuff. Are you seriously telling me you're not even a tiny bit interested in this? I still say this is stupid. It is not stupid! Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, kid. I'm not kid! It's Mew! Well, lead the way, Mew. I'm not gonna be happy if you're messing with this, got it? I guess they're off to get some extra credit somewhere. That's Saki for you. Something tells me they're not up to anything so commendable. They don't even know what kind of temple it is, do they? Entry may be prohibited. You've never heard of it, Owie? Hmm, I don't see anything like it on the map. Could there really be a hidden shrine? Or is it just some kid's imagination? What do you think, Takuma? Stop them, let them, or sounds fun? I think it sounds fun. I think we should all go together. I think we should all be one big team. I'm all for camaraderie. I don't like busy work. I don't think we should stop them. But if we go along, then we can help. We can, we can be supporters. Sounds fun. Sounds like a good time. Let's follow them. Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. Hey, you guys! Oh, great. Just what we needed. The Shrine of the Kimonogami sounds fun. Can we go with you? Sure, the more the merrier. Thanks. Nice to meet you. You too. Sounds like we had a couple of eavesdroppers. Why don't you and your merry band of bozos go back to your school trip? Let's get a move on, Mew. Come on, don't be like that. Jeez, Ryu. Ryo. That attitude here needs some work. Sorry about that, you guys. Ryo, you and me wait up. And there they go again. For now, we better wait here for someone to tell us where to go next. That or head back to the school. Gotta admit, that sounds like a pain. More importantly, we have no idea what might happen. We should chase after those three. That's what I'm talking about, Owie. Yeah, let's follow them. Doop, 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 doop. Off we go. I do want that little running Agumon just to be my profile picture on Twitter or something. Pursuing Saki Ryo and that little kid Mew, we ended up at a tunnel. Not a soul to be seen around us, and no other pass. Did they head through here? Look at this dark, creepy little murder tunnel. Tell me about it. Does it feel colder around here to you? Makes my skin crawl. Would you two refrain from such absurd talk? I bet one of those ghost hunter shows would get a kick out of this play. Is refrain not in your vocabulary? 
Come on now, we must find those two! I don't see them here. Maybe we should forge on ahead? Hey, you there! Who's this? Oh, looks like we got a guest. Ah, oh, it's this guy. Shuji, is that you? You can't just run off on your own. All right, I gotta head out and have a great rest of your stream. Have an amazing day. We'll see you, Rainbow Scout. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you lurking around, being here on the stream. We'll catch you around. Chat, chat's in the clap again for for Rain, Rain and Rain and Rye Guy pulling it in on Saturday with the showdown. Big appreciates. You can't just run off on your own. We have enough trouble with the landslide as it is. Excuse me, your bluster ship. Besides, we think Saki and Ryu went this way. Oh, that guy has got to act his age. I have his and Saki's numbers in the student phone book. I'll try giving them a call. He's been letting it ring for a while now. I guess Saki hasn't noticed yet. Say, what do you think those Kimonogami girls, or deals the girl was talking about are like? Who knows? Some kind of animals, I guess? No, Ru, you didn't hear a single word of the lecture on today's landmark, did you? They're gods taking the shapes of beasts, the legend of which was passed down in this area. Are the Digimon the Kimonogami? Are Kimonogami Digimon? D -d 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 Okay, th that kid said only the locals know them, so I bet this land has some unique creatures. Like, I don't know, a tiny, a tiny, a waist-high orange dinosaur. So they become gods and started handing out retribution like hotcakes? Give me a break! People used to attribute the unknown to the gods, giving offerings to prevent disaster. Most people don't come around here these days. I imagine only locals come to visit. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Ah, <laughs> yeah, Bruce Almighty. No good. It seems neither Saki nor Ryo have a signal where they are. Huh, I guess it'd be weird if their phones worked in the middle of nowhere like this. And you're sure that they came this way? Well, yes, we're quite certain. They ain't around here, that's for sure. Maybe the shrine is up ahead. It isn't on our map, so we're not even sure where to look. All right, we'll have to track those two down and head back to the school ASAP. They're past this tunnel. All right, let's go. Do, do, do. Digitunnel. I'm back. What did I miss? Um, Saki and Ryo went off on their own with a mysterious girl named Mew. And the rest of us are going to try to find them. We can't get them on their cell phone. Something's very, very wrong. I should talk with the others about what to do to search next to search for Saki and the others. Probably just go through the tunnel, dude. <laughs> All right, but sure. Owie, what's up? Um, are we really going to go through this tunnel? You said that. I don't see any other way. This is our only option, right? Well, yes, but... Uh, you're not afraid of the dark, are you, Owie? J just a bit. Crease me out just a little bit. Hey, why are we talking about this? We have to bring Saki and the others back right now. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm getting at. What's up, room? Boy, just when I thought I was going to die of boredom, things are getting interesting. Are you going to join the search? Who cares about that? This tunnel! A lost shrine! I smell adventure, don't you? I think I see what you mean. Right? Might as well look for some ruins while we look at those look for those jokers. Ruins? I think the joke might be on you. Do it, do it, do it. Shuji! You know, you could have stopped them from going in the first place. We tried, Shuji! Actually, we didn't. We tried to go along. Oh, well, we kind of tried. They weren't in any mood to listen, so... Oh, I see. Well, nothing to be done about it. I'll help persuade them next time. No worries. All right, onward and upwards, friends. Into the Digi Tunnel. The Digi Volution is up and coming. Come on, let's go bring Ryo and Saki together. That being said, which way should we go? Huh? Hey, who's that coming this way? Another person for Nathan to voice act. It's Big Brother. Excuse me. All of you are from that camp, right? I live around here. I'm just looking for my little sister. Your sister? Yes. She's a bit frail. The irises of my eyes have, cannot be located after I unplugged the, uh... After I unplugged my, uh, my, my, my files. I was keeping my irises in a, uh... Expandable storage. But it got unplugged somehow, and now they cannot be located. She's a bit frail, but likes to go off on her own. My sister is... How do I put this? Like a tiny animal. Timid and needing protection. Are we talking about the same girl? There was a kid hanging around here named Mew, but she doesn't fit the bill. 
Mew? Did you just say Mew? My eyes uploaded. I... Yeah, I sure did. Yes, we met a girl named Mew, maybe grade, grade school age, wearing a hat with cat ears. Yes, that's her. You've seen her? Say what? The girl we met had a few more screws loose than the girl you're describing. Hey, don't be rude, Minoru. I'm just saying, I don't see any shrinking vi Violet who needed saving is all. Shrinking Violet? Who cares what you thought of her? Just tell me, where did she go? Well, I'm sorry, but we're actually looking for her ourselves. She went off to go to a shrine with some of the other campers. We were just going to try and bring them back with us. I see. So she went off on her own. Thank you very much. And after I told her she's not allowed to go in there. My name is Kaito. If you want, we could go look for them together. Why not? We're all after the same thing. Plus, you know where the place is, right? <laughs> sure. Now I'll show you the way. I wasn't raised here, but I've lived here for a long time. I know where the shrine is. Come on, follow me. I'm Minoru, that's Takuma, and this here's Aoi. I'm the leader, Shuji. Nice to meet you, Kaito. From the looks of him, I thought Kaito was an adult, but he's the same age as me. Man, that's certainly not how kids get kidnapped, <laughs> right? I'm relieved, though. Looks like we can count on him. <laughs> this guy's dependable. Have you ever seen a ponytail like that, dude? We'll get there in no time. Hmm? Uh, say guys, it's spring now, right? Does a bear poop in the woods? If it's not spring, then when is it? I just figured we're a little far south for it to snow at the start of spring. <gasps> what are you... Uh? Not spooky music, it's just snow. You're right. Snow. Calling this unseasonal would be a bit of uh, a bit an understatement. Indeed. It snowed here last week, too. I heard the weather gets all wonky around these parts. I've heard of similar stories in other places. Whoa, uh, some kind of blizzard has kicked up here, yeah? So cold. It's too dangerous to keep going. I'll go take a look. Why don't you all go back? Why don't we duck back into that tunnel? Who knows what had happened when we made it back? Fair enough, it might be indoors, but it's better than staying out here. It's true. Okay, let's retreat to the tunnel for now. Well, if we wouldn't have stood around and talked for so long, you guys. Secret tunnel. The Digivolution is in this tunnel. Can you see? Can you hear? Do you know what's coming? Ooh. Saki and the others came through here, huh? The tunnel is cold. Owie's shaking. Is this still being used? Owie! <laughs> gotta go that waifu laifu! Come on, we gotta, we gotta be right. We gotta be a gentleman. Are you okay, Owie? You don't look too good. Um, yes, I'm fine. It must be the snow. I feel like it's worse in here than out there. I imagine they just ran on in if Mew was with them. She's used to the place. It gets dark, and the footing isn't great here. Let's go, but watch your step. Ooh, it's very dark. It's pitch black. I can hardly see in front of me. <laughs> Still, isn't this like some kind of expedition? I'm getting kind of pumped. Hey, this is no time to play around. It's not safe for us to keep going like this, uh, but if we use the camera light. Yes. Let's take down our battery. <laughs> ah! Oh, knock it off, Minoru! Don't just scream like that. Even I got spooked. Uh, my bad, I just saw this here, so... This is... a sacred rope. What would something like that be doing here? Hmm, maybe this is where the Kimonogami are enshrined or something. Don't pass the threshold! Now that I think about it, you mentioned that you weren't allowed to enter here, right? Yeah, the village believes in retribution. Kids are warned to stay out. Uh, what is this wind coming from the entrance? Oh, jeez, there must be a heck of a storm whipping up outside. You think those three are in trouble? We'd better hurry on to the shrine. Yes, uh, yes, you're right. Come on, there's no time to lose. Still real slow. Deeper into the tunnel we go. But when will we find Digimon? We're in the woods. Huh? The snowfall's slowing down. What the... What happened to the blizzard? The, t 
tunnel isn't that long. What could be happening here? <laughs> Talk about lucky. It just up and stopped on us. It's more like it didn't snow at all on this side of the tunnel. And there's these weird red flowers with literal light beams happening. That's not normal. And look at all these flowers. Ain't these something else? This story is, a, this forest is a sea of red. I feel like I've seen them in our field guide, maybe? If memory serves, these are called red spider lilies. Right, that's what they are. But this isn't right. It's spring and yes, they bloom in the autumn. What in the world is going on here? Hmm, has Owie figured something out? Should we check out this area a little more before heading into the shrine? I'd say so. It was written in red. What a suspicious looking forest. I should look around or maybe talk with the others. Spider lilies. What's this? There's a bunch of stuff floating in the air. It's the upside down. You think it's those, what should we call it? Spores? I've never heard of red spider lilies doing something like this. These things aren't bad for us, are they? Flowers like this can be found anywhere. I mean, they look pretty normal. Yeah, yeah, no, sure, the floating lights. Totally normal. This area, I have a bad feeling about it. Something's not right. Not right how? Um, I'm sorry, I can't quite put it into words. Take the flowers. They should be pretty, but they give me the creeps more than anything. Come on, let's hustle. The snow should be on up, up upon us soon. Let's get to the shrine. Yeah, he's right. Lead the way. They don't seem to be anywhere around here. The shrine must be further in. The shrine must be just ahead. We should head towards it for now. Into the woods we deeper go. Will we find the Digimon? Going to find a shrine and friends. Or maybe they'll be dead because we're in the upside down and there are spores floating round and round. This is... Whoa. Kaido never said people never come here, but it's breathtaking. It's also kind of eerie. How could anyone expect visitors to come to a shrine all the way out here? They didn't. In fact, they made sure to warn anyone about getting too close. That's strange. I don't see the others anywhere. I could have sworn I saw someone just now. Now, where could they be? We should all look around and see what we can find. I swear if there's all this tension in the air and the first thing we find is that little poopmon. Should I look around here? Yes. The shrine, nothing looks out of place here. You don't think the little broken door looks a little weird? Check out this place! There are crazy patterns all over the place! Minoru's snapping tons of pictures on his phone. Huh, didn't know he was into that. I bet they've got some freaky demon statues stowed away in there or something. I don't know about that, but whatever they worship here isn't normal, that's for sure. Why is that for sure? What's this, some kind of animal? A bird? Wait, a reptile? There are patterns of various animals all over, but I don't recognize any of them. Ooh, what's this? A lion? A dog? Wait up, a lion dog? Man, I just eat this stuff up. Is that Garurumon? Minoru, now's not the time to be taking pictures. What, man? Shoot, he's right. We have to look for Saki and the others. Still, this place is so weird. I'm not surprised Minoru wanted a few mementos. Take more over here. Enough photos. Let him have his fun. Digital monsters! Um, I guess let him have his fun. Maybe that's what would appeal to Aoi. I want to appeal to Aoi. Actually, we may need the pictures later. What do you mean? If we take pics of the area, we might notice something we would have overlooked otherwise. Oh, I see. Well, if that's the reason, I guess it's okay. Come on already. We have to find them and fast. Right, sorry. Okay, let's go. Change into digital champions. Wow, the shrine really does worship beasts. There are places like this all over Japan. Some worship 
octopuses or trees. The ones that worship. Okay. <laughs> That's very cool. Hey, watch that talk. There's a lady present. No, Rue. I wonder, is this the place passed down in the legends we were supposed to visit today? Legends? Who knows? As I said, I was told not to set foot in here. I don't know much about it. But the locals say people get spirited away up in here. I see. That's certainly frightening. I'd say we are. What was that sound? I've never heard anything like it. Just trees creaking in the... No. No, no, Kaito. You can't fool me. That was a spooky, scary monster. Who cares? Let's go, let's go. Um, hey guys, don't stray too far, okay? The blizzard might not be the only thing we have to worry about. Let's look for clues. Exploration. <laughs> Exploration. That's fine. Am I about to get a whole nother mode in this game? As you play the game, you will need to travel the locations on your map to advance the story. You will slowly gain access to more locations by progressing through the game. Dope. Spider Lily Forest unlocked. Shrine unlocked. What's next? Switch over to the list view to see a location's information on the bottom right of the screen. Also pay attention to the icons displayed on the list. But whoopsie. That means that if you talk to a person there, it will advance the plot. Okay. Other icons will show you where to find an important clue or to alert you of an enemy. Got a lot of enemies. So keep all of them in mind as you play through the game. Now try selecting a location to advance the story. Story time! <gasps> What's up? Hey, there's Kaido. Has he found anything? Nope, I only care about Owie. You've been pale for a while now, Owie. How are you holding up? Uh, well, if I'm being honest, it's taking all I've got to deal with this place. You shouldn't push yourself if you're scared, okay? Thank you, but... Our friends might be facing something even scarier, you know? Saki, Ryo, where are you? Kaito! Hey, Mew! Where are you? Oh, Takuma. Have you... Have those guys found anything over there? Nothing yet. You found Mew? Nope. Oh, where is she? Saki and Ryo are with her for sure. Here, I'll join the search. What have we been doing? That'd be a great help, thanks. We, I mean, that's actively what we've been doing the entire time, right? Come on. Bucks. To the map. To the map, 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 to the map! What's next? I should check in with the others. Minoru, you've got something new. What's up, dude? Ski? Huh, what? What's in this picture? Uh-oh. Yo, Takuma! You should take some pics around here, too. Me? But why? My phone's picking up some weird stuff. Might be broken. Let's check yours. Are you sure your finger isn't in the shot? It ain't my finger. Something's, like, all fuzzy in my pics. Go on, take some. Doesn't sound like he's messing around. Guess I'll take a few test shots. I get it. I have a picture. Oh, cool. As you play the game, you'll be able to find clues using the camera on your phone. A camera icon will appear. You can take out your camera anytime while you're exploring. Access your camera with CR. Your camera can sometimes reveal things that would otherwise be invisible. We'll try using it now. <whistles> if you notice any distortion, try focusing on it. Hey, this is a cool mechanic, huh? Oh no, there's something right by Minoru! Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh! It's a little stone guy! What the heck? Huh? Nothing's here? But the camera definitely picked up something. Uh, what's this? What is it, Minoru? Hey, you guys! There's a weird thingy over here! Is it a digivice? Weird thingy. Who knows what that could mean? Hey, don't just go off on your own! Fine, we'll all go together! <whistles> wow, 
What is the little rock's name? I can't remember his name. What in the world? Hmm. Look at the size of this thing. Wow, are those ruins? They look pretty old. So you need idea what this is? Not a clue. I've never heard of anything like this. If it's like the shrine's sacred prohibited space, I'd say I'd get it if no one talks about it. Or at least I wouldn't be surprised, but don't tell me you went in there. There's no way a girl would go into a place like this. That's where you're wrong. If it's her we're talking about, I guarantee she went inside. I bet you Saki ran in right after her, huh? All ooh this and ah that. That does seem to fit her M.O. Mew! Come on, what was I just talking about? Let's split up. Don't go alone. Can't lose track of him. Ah! Well, obviously we don't split up the Scooby Scooby gang, okay? Um, can't lose track of him or don't go alone? I'm going to say can't lose track. Moral changed. I don't know what that means, and it makes me very nervous. Now's not the time to say that. We have to find them all as soon as possible. And if Kaido goes off on his own, we'll lose track of him too. Oh... Sure, that's true. Let's go too. Hey, Saki! Yoo-hoo, Ryu! If you hear us, please answer! Another secret tunnel after the secret tunnel! Double secrets! What are you thinking so far? I'm thinking it is a visual novel and I'm loving it! I love the choices that I get to make. I love that it has morals in it. I can't wait until it feels even more and more survivory. Ah, you there you are. Hmm? What's up? You just ran off. Don't worry us like that. Oh, uh, sorry. Don't believe. I don't believe it. They're worshiping a dragon. Ooh. Yeah, I'm about. I'm about an hour and a half in. I think. Plus, look at this! A mural across the whole wall! This is really something else. Loved the melodica. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got it down here. Got it down here. I started playing some uh, uh, Megalovania. <laughs> Trying to learn Megalovania live. Welcome to the stream, by the way, St. Bear. Glad you're here. Well, you're telling me. I feel like I could get swallowed up by it. Exactly. How do I explain it? There's just something divine about it. Oh, she's getting, like, entranced! Maybe it wasn't danger or retribution that caused people to close off the area. My brother had one growing up, such a fun instrument. For sure, it's a great instrument. They might have been trying to protect this sacred place. Hey, no. There's no time for gawking. Or did you forget what we came here for? Right, right, right. Sorry, just got caught up in all this. He's right. We have better things to do right now. What's the shrine? Find the others. Let's go farther in. I mean, we gotta find the others. We gotta find the others. Obvious. Yes. We have to look for Saki and the others. Yo, Saki! Ryo! Mew, where are you? Huh? I hear footsteps by the entrance. Could it be the others? No! Mysterious man! Khakis! <gasps> no. Hmm? And you are? Uh, hello there. Who's that? Your guess is as good as mine. What are all of you doing here? Surely you know you can't be in here. Uh, um, well, you see... That's our line, man. What are you doing here? Um, no need to worry. My purpose here is far from nefarious. I am a researcher of the Kino Kimonogami faith passed down in this region. This shrine is connected to said faith. I just got permission to investigate it. Researcher? Investigate? Are you a scholar of some sort? Indeed. I study ancient Japanese history, researching it for a university nearby. Then, uh, that makes you a professor. <laughs> I've been shunned from scientific society. Uh, forget that last part. So this place is valuable enough to be worth researching, huh? Well then, what has brought all of you to a place like this? Yes, well, you see, sir, I'm gonna go look somewhere else. Kaido? Hey, Kaido! Oh, now, Shuji, let's just let him do his thing for now, yeah? I get why Kaido's feeling restless, but I'm really curious about this place. No idea if Saki and others came here, but let's look around for some clues. I'm gonna find Nagumon! Nagumon. 
The shrine's pretty weird. Maybe I should talk to the professor and inspect the mural? No? Alright, no distortion. Old man. Have you all come here to study the Komonogami as well? Yes, we're on a school trip. But we actually came to look for some missing people. Our friends and that guy's sister. Yeah, he came to look for her. In this, the Komonogami shrine? I hope she hasn't been spirited away. Spirited away? Yes. There's a legend about the Komonogami passed down since ancient times. But it's more than a legend. The stories are true, you see. True, you say? Indeed. It was once custom to offer up local children to the beast gods as sacrifices. What? What? Local children? How awful. It was a desperate measure to ensure the harvest, or perhaps to prevent disasters. Yet these children did not die. Supposedly they were taken somewhere unharmed. They were destined for it, you could say. <laughs> Digi, Digi destined, you might say. So that's what you mean by spirited away? Yes, but the custom was lost to the ages, and this angered the ancient Kimonogami. Over time, such abductions were no longer a ritual sacrifice, but a curse or retribution. Many legends regarding such incidents have been passed down in this region. I place no faith in fairy tales, of course. There must be a scientific explanation. Some reason for the continuous disappearances since ancient times. I'm sure of it. By popular demand, if this were spirited away, then where in the world was a coup? Well, this doesn't look exactly unlike Miyazaki. Uh, we moved on from stealing babies to sacrificing children. I guess, I guess so. I guess that's where we're at. Some reason for the continuous disappearances since ancient times. I'm sure of it. I view this as a superstition, or a mental block designed to escape from reality. Get back to reality. Oop. There goes gravity. Oop. Uh, he's, he seems pretty worked up somehow. Is he mad or upset, maybe? I know you came looking for your friends, but I'm glad you could see these legendary ruins. Interest in historical origins is a wonderful thing indeed. I support it wholeheartedly. Uh, um, thank you, sir. Just want to know where the free barbecue is? Take a good look at this. Who knows? It may end up being of use to you all. I swear if this man gives me a digivice or something, I'm gonna lose my mind. I gotta check out the wall. Oh, oh, that's it. Oh, okay. Literally just look at it. Discovery of these minerals has led to rapid development of these region in ancient times. A sudden population boom would naturally increase the number of missing persons. Dwindling resources, depopulation, likely absconding in the night from such troubles. Highlight for my birthday, though, is the entire brisket my dad gave me. That sounds amazing right now. I'm having pizza tonight, and I'm very excited about pizza, but now I want barbecue. I suspect the recent landslides are a result of unchecked development since the Showa era. Unraveling the issue piece by piece allows for a logical explanation of the legend. At least, that's what I think. Yes, learning from the past can help us in the present. It's a, it's a, it's a three-legged approach, they might say. Four-pronged. A quadrilateral, even. Wow, thank you so much, Professor. What a wonderful and unexpected lesson we've learned here today. Yeah, muchas gracias, prof. Hey, now, show some respect. I'm going to be eating this a while. I'm going to use part of it to start a stew. Delish. Hey, what's with this wall? Is this writing or something? Hmm, are these drawings or some kind of text? Yeah, something like that. There are all sorts of stuff on these crazy wall painting. I've never seen anything like it. Huh, something's written here. Maybe I can read it? Nope, not a word of it. This is just conjecture based on my investigations, but I think it says... <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> not Agumon! <laughs> I don't know why I just wasn't, I wasn't expecting, I was expecting it to say, like, the great dragon Komonogami. <laughs> oh! 
It says Ty threw up in Sora's hat. So weird. Who wrote this? As my research progressed, I learned that each of the Komonogami have their own names. Okay, sure. No, this is fine. <laughs> Is that so? So there must be a bunch of those things running around. I think somebody can't get a version of a Digimon. It's gotta be shorthand for digital monsters. Kind of a clone of Pokemon, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Take a good look at this. Who knows? It may end up being of use to you all. I really want to know what he's about to give me. Oh, holy moly, Agumon, dude. <laughs> it seems derivative, but the animation is stellar. Not gonna lie, though, that narrative do be bussin'. So these are all drawings of Komonogami? And they come in all shapes and sizes, huh? Hey, why do you think there are... there are so many? Why do you think there are there so many Komonogami in the first place? Do you have a hunch, sir? Indeed. There are several possible explanations for all this. It's probably zero one one zero zero one zero zero one zero zero one one zero 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 one one zero one. The unique terrain could explain the frequent incidents, weak footholds, steep slopes, magnetic fields mess with sense of direction, and overgrowth in flora and fauna. Ha, ah, like the red spider lilies then. I believe there's something in the minerals around here that makes people lose their way. The designers had to fill a quota and you just had to put them to work. Creators of the Komonogami faith may have been altered somehow by this substance. I see. That would make sense. We saved for some reason. <laughs> I still can't believe Agumon, dude. <laughs> Yikes! What the heck was that? Did she come out of the wall? Did she come out of the wall? Oh, it's you, Mew. Her eyes look terrifying. Those are some Doki Doki eyes if I've ever seen it, and I'm not interested in Doki Doki right now. What is it? Did something happen? Some weird creep popped up out of nowhere, so I took off. Oh no, I left Saki behind. Eek! That voice, Saki. It came from outside near the shrine. Come on, let's go. This is actually an ecological disaster and should be corrected before we destroy the environment of this entire valley. Whoa, what's with this fog? Yeah, man, there wasn't nothing like this when we came through earlier. If we go out in this now, we'll be just as lost as the others. What about Saki and that scream just now? Stay away from me! Wait, what the heck was that? What's that little guy? Is he like Gumamon or something? Is she being attacked by something? You mean like a pervert? A pervert on a mountain? Saki's dead, Aeoli. <laughs> Not Aeoli. Is that a mistype or did you call her Aeoli? <laughs> Maybe it's a boar or something? Yeah, I can hear it growling, I think. He's got eyes! Whoa, hey! Was it just me or did something light up over there? I did this intentionally. Good to know, because it would have been it would have been equally funny either way. We should just head towards her voice. Are my eyes playing tricks on me? I can barely see a thing around here. We should all definitely hold hands. We should all hold hands. That's a thing we can do that would be so easy for us to not lose each other. This fog is seriously weird, man. It bothers me too, but not as much as Saki screams. Yeah. We gotta go. Hey, Saki. Ryo, are you okay? Wait, something's here. We should hold hands and be way less awkward than <laughs> bonding through indirect kiss or something. We should definitely not kiss. What is that? Some kind of statue? I swear it's like Gumamon or something. No, no, that thing's moving! What in the world? That's impossible! That sound again. So this weird thing was making it? Eek! Eh, back off, you freak show! What is that? Hey, what's going on? I heard a bunch of screaming back there. Mew, you were here the whole time. What, Kaido? Why are you here? Wait, Saki, we're coming to help. I really do enjoy the fact that they're approaching this low-level thing as the high weirdness that it is. <laughs> is that you, Owie? No, stay away. No, come here and help. That is spooky. That creepy thing's looking this way. 
What should we do? It's not like we can just leave them alone, right? Even if she tells us to. Screaming? No, never. Not us. Saki certainly isn't dead, and Shavikado here definitely didn't do it. This weird statue-like creature sets its sight on the others. A creature? No. A monster? A no! A digital monster? No! D d d <laughs> what are you waiting for? Get over here already! Could that be one of the Kimonogami? No. How could that be? Professor! He followed us from the shrine. We have to save those guys from this monster. What should we do? Yeah. Let's talk it out, baby. Let's try talking to it. Yeah, hey, it could just be some kid pulling a prank. Hey, you there. Whoa, hold on, Shuji. How heavy would a kid have to be to leave footprints that deep? No fat shaming, Minoru! What the heck, dude? Come on now! Have you caught them all? I haven't caught one. Footprints? It definitely speaks standard modern Japanese, yep. Look out, Shuji! Pow! Schmack! Takuma! Uh, it barely grazed me. What power? Are you all right? I'm, I'm so sorry you saved me there. This is bad. Let's get out of here. Digital footprints, digit prints are digital, digital footprints. Just casual fat shaming. Totally uncalled for. A creature we've never seen before is coming right at us. What's going on? What a crazy situation we've gotten into. Why the heck is this happening? Yeep. You okay, Owie? Oh no, how he fell down, and that rock monster is coming this way! By the B-52s! Stop! Stay away from her! I can't let it hurt Owie. Ah! The thing just sent me flying. Oh, ow. Man, that thing's strong. I'm lucky I got away with a few scratches after a tackle like that. The others, hey, you guys okay? Takuma, are you alright? I'm sorry, this is all my fault. Everyone seems to be okay somehow. The fog has covered the entire area. There's red spider lilies at my feet, so creepy. Guys, you there? Ah, ah! Huh? Is he gonna kill Shuji? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude! Oh, man, that's spooky. Oh, man, I could corner them. This is bad. It's getting closer and closer. They're in for a world of hurt. Is there any way they can make a break for it? What? Huh? I'm feeling kind of dizzy. Am I going numb, or did I take a harder hit than I thought? Or is it? Huh, an earthquake at a time like this? Holy crap, the shaking is getting worse! Is everyone okay? Be careful, everyone. Move without paying attention and you'll... Honestly, I'm surprised the computer this old has storage compact enough to hold this many Pokemon, right? What is it, Shuji? There we go. Okay, well, I guess we're, we're all dead. Whoa! Yep, we're being eaten by the earth. I tried taking a step forward and the ground crumbled underneath me. I plunged into a gaping hole that seemed to pull me in. I couldn't even tell what was happening to everyone else. Unchecked development, recent landslides. The professor's words are coming back to me. Whoa! Ah, yes, legally distinct, Mon. Title screen? <laughs> what? <laughs> not, not, e not, can't be a full hour and a half tutorial. Welcome, Welcome to Digimans. You're kidding. <laughs> 
Yep, 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 yep. The, the game's, game's finally, finally started. started. This, this was all prep work. work. Are these fake mon? Are these new? I have never seen these Digimon before. I guess it's been a while since I've been in the Digi world, but I have never seen some of these Digimans. How long is, yes. It's not Terrymon, but it's the other one. What's his name? Lotmon. Yes, dude. Go back. Who got Wormmon, dude? Saki? Always. So Saki is our, is our, um, what's her name? Mimi. Uh, he got the worm. Hilarious. Kunamon. This is the saddest anime intro I've ever seen. But who does he have? Ooh, Drachmon. Very nice. She has the little clam. Saddest, really? Well, no, I guess not the saddest ever, but it is pretty, it's it's not, it doesn't match, is I guess what I was saying. It does not flow with the, um, like, action of the uh, these monsters. Game is 80 to 100, that's not that long. I'm also playing Xenoblade and that's 150, so. Easy peasy, out of here with that mess. This is short. We'll only be playing this into 2023. <laughs> if we played three hours a stream. If we played every Monday. Hilarious. Huh. Mm. Now I guess we get our Digimans, right? 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 Is Agumon gonna pick me up or something? I fell through the ground onto the forest floor. Oh, am I safe? Am I below the shrine? It looks like I got caught in a landslide or something. Hey, everyone, is everyone okay? Are you alone? Is he alone? Oh, my head, it's pounding. I can't see anyone. Looks like they aren't here. Maybe I should take a look around. Come on, Agumon. I cannot believe, seriously. I just cannot believe that the wall said Agumon. All I can do is look around for now. Deep forest. I don't see anyone here. Maybe I can find some trace of them in a different area? I should check out other places. They're not here. What a relief. That means they weren't caught up in the landslide. I should check out other places. Oh, there we go. The ground's collapsed all around here, but none of my friends are around. I should check out other places. <laughs> Do you think we should check out other places? <laughs> I should check out other places. I should probably check out other places. I'm thinking I should check out other places. Got your bone. You got it. Come on, tell me. What's the deal with all these gotcha bones? I, I mean, come on. I don't know, Jerry. You tell me. You tell me. What's the deal? What's the deal with all those nasty beans? Just the grossest beans in here. Trivia or mystery, Splash? Trivia or mystery? Which one would, you, which one would you like to see? Trivia or mystery? Either one works for me. You tell me. I can hear those sounds from before. Is it those stone monsters? I think it might be. Trivia? All right, your trivia question. You know how this works. I will read the question twice and then I will count to 15. All right. Question, what volcano destroyed Pompeii in 79 AD? What volcano destroyed Pompeii in 79 AD? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You did it. Vesuvius, didn't even need the whole 15 seconds. Chats in the clap. Chats in the clap for Splash. Nail in that Vesuvia trivius. Ves Vesuvia. Vesuvia. I don't know. Yeah. Oh no, they're coming this way. I have to get out of here. <sighs> okay, I don't think they're following me. I made it back to the shrine somehow. If only there were a tiny, tiny orange dinosaur. No 
anyone's here? Not a single person? Hey, Minoru! Owie! Is anybody here? Mm -hmm. No responses. Where the heck did they... Oh, maybe I can get one of them on the phone. I'll call Minoru. No service here? My phone is useless. I don't think so. I think it's going to serve as a... Did something move just now? Hi! Oh man, something's in there. Is it that rock monster again? The sound disappeared? Doesn't look like it's trying to jump me, whatever it is. What should I do about that rock thing? Carefully move closer. Ty! Not knowing what's coming this way freaks me out. I'll try moving closer. I'll do my best not to set this thing off. Huh? It's gone? Where in the world? Hey, some of the grass is moving over there, like something's in there. I can't see anything, but something's there, isn't there? This reminds me of the last time. All right then, what to do? Keep calm and wait. What did Minoru say? Go right up to it. Keep calm and wait. I could just see it all of a sudden. Maybe I should wait and see what happens. No good. I still can't see a thing. I don't have time to just hang around here anyway. Last time I saw something I couldn't see before, I used... What was it again? That's right. He picked up a presence with his phone camera. Why don't I take a picture? All right, I'll give it a shot. On my digivice. Here he is. Whoa. What the heck was that just now? It was just a moment, but I definitely saw something. This will help me see it. Still, I don't know what I'll do if something attacks me again. Nothing will come of just sitting here. I'll look around my phone and see what I find. Yes, I wish you would let me do that. Yeah, there he is! What the heck is that? Some kind of creature? Doesn't seem like that rock thing from before. Hope it's a bit friendlier. If only you had some bubbles. Or a whistle. Oh, it's gone? Don't tell me it plans to attack from the shadows somewhere. I'll survey other spots with my camera. Boy, that's precise, huh? Nothing here, huh? Then why did I get distortion? D d d d d d d d d d d d distortion. Oh, wait, hang on. There's something. It won't let me go up. Oh, there we go. I was doing the wrong hand. Yeah, I already did that. I already did that. I thought I'd already checked out that camera. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. There he is. I found it. That thing from before. It's right over there. No doubt about it. What should I do? It doesn't look hostile, but still. Man, did it vanish again? This thing's quick on its feet. At least I think it has feet. I'll survey other spots with my camera. Check the spot again, maybe. There it is! Bingo! There it is! Feet, hands, who knows anymore? Whoa, it's closer now! Ty! I'm looking for Ty! What? Ah! What is this thing? Hey, that's my line. Wait, you're... It talks? Shoo! Back off, dang it! I've never seen anything like this before! What the heck is it? Seriously, what's this thing's deal? I'm not a thing, I'm Koromon! I've been waiting for you, old buddy, old pal! Koro? Mon? Sorry, but that pal talk rubs me the wrong way. The name's Takuma, okay? Anyway, just back off for a sec, will you? Takuma, that's your name? Nice to meet you, Takuma! That doesn't answer my question! No! More importantly, what do you mean you are waiting for me? Yeah, 
Yeah, for ages. Like such a long time, pal. Why? How? Well, that's easy. You see, uh, uh, why was I waiting? What's with this thing? It understands me, but I wouldn't call this a conversation. Anyway, it doesn't seem to mean me any harm, I think. You took the words right out of my mouth. At any rate, I see you're not human. That's what I am. A human. And a young one at that. A young human? I've never seen one before. You're kind of weird looking, aren't you? Still, I'm glad I got to meet you. Mm -hmm. I've been craning something, you see. I've been waiting forever and ever. Human flesh. Craven? What do you mean? Anyway, you're the one for me. It's like I've been waiting for you forever. What do you mean? I don't get it. Listen up, uh, Koromon, was it? Stop treating me like some kid, all right? I'm already in junior high. What's a junior high? Well, uh, it basically means I'm an adult. Huh, adults are smaller than I figured. Uh, anyway, my point is I'm not a kid. Why not? You seem pretty childish to me. How we doing, Josh Hamback? Welcome to the chat. Why else would you get upset over every little thing? Shut up. I've had enough. Back off already. See, I tell people I've been waiting for them forever, and they immediately lose interest. <laughs> yeah, a heck of a heck of a start, right? Just meet somebody for the first time and be like, I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for this moment. Wait, Takuma! First things first, I gotta shake off this weird critter somehow. I'll try and get away from the shrine. How did your weekend go for you, Josh? Appreciate you being here. Welcome to Checkpoint Church. Church for nerds, geeks, and gamers. You're on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. Koromon be trash talking, really. Okay, I think I finally lost it. Still, what the heck was that thing? I've never seen anything like it. But the really weird thing is, I wasn't all that scared of it. I mean, it was so small, and it talked like a kid. Plus, it was so buddy-buddy. Heck, the fact that it talked at all is weird enough on its own, right? Maybe I was... Sleepwalking or something? Hmm. Maybe I should look around more. Well, besides losing to y'all, good. Oh, were you at the tournament on Saturday? That's right. That's right. That's right. We had a lot of fun with that. I, I hope you at least had a good time. I also lost, technically. Even though Checkpoint, <laughs> Checkpoint won in the grand scheme of things, I also lost very badly, personally. What the? Something is moving in the grass. Uh-oh. It's that rock monster that attacked us before. Yeah, I wish I had Koromon now, huh? Ah, he's so close! I can't believe one was here! I can't get away, it's too close! All right! Yeah! <laughs> Almost two hours in and we get our first fight. Here we go. After choosing... oh. Use recovery items for HP and SP. Easy enough. Pretty sure everybody knows how to use recovery items by now. Talking. Use the talk command. Unless you answer their... Okay. I'm in this fight. I have no Digiman. It's just, it's just straight up me. All right. What should I do? Wait and see, as the Lord said. What game is this? I've never seen or heard of it. It just came out this past Friday. Digimon Survive. Off of the Digimon franchise. I can't let my guard down. Maybe I should just wait and see what it does. Its body is made of stone. I have to watch out when it charges. Still, when I look closely at it, it doesn't seem all that strong. No, oh, shoot, spoke too soon. Ah! Boink. Man, he's mad. Ouch! What the heck, man? He's coming at us again. Looks like it's going to charge again. Run! Coromon! This thing's got an axe to grind with you. Hurry up and get out of here. What's up, Harry? We just got to our first fight. Oh, my legs are... I'll try to hold it off so you can get away. Here I go! Ah! Boy, you're weak. Like, super weak. You're the one that should be running. But I've got to protect you, Takuma. Boing. Ah! Oh, it's no use. Oh man, this is bad. Is this Animon story? It's definitely what Animon story was based off of. Koromon will be in trouble if this keeps up. I can't believe this tiny little thing's risking its life to protect me. I know. 
I can't just run off on my own and let it fight to the death. But what? What should I do? Yell, attack, protect. Y'all, I love my Digimans. Protect that boy. I won't let you. Not bad, Takuma, but that night might not be the best idea. Go, Koromon. At least one of us should escape. No way. I can't just leave you behind, Takuma. Well, I guess that makes two of us then, huh? Oh, now that you mention it. <laughs> In a bit of a pinch, but you know what? I can't afford to laugh. What can I say? Suddenly, I feel like I can do it. Is he about to digivolve right here, right now? I'm going to go for it, Takuma. Huh? What are you saying? Just watch, Takuma. I told you I'd protect you and I meant it. Koromon evolved to... It doesn't do the music. Agumon. Pepper Breath. Yeah! Agumon! I was completing my sentence from earlier. Oh, yeah! Condition is defeat Gatsumon. And if we lose, it's because our friend died. <laughs> what a lose condition! Okay, all right, well, heck of a losing condition. Each battle has its own win and loss. <laughs> It's easy, you guys. If you want to win this game, you just defeat the monster. If you want to lose the game, your friends have to die. <laughs> you can also change the difficulty. When you're in a fight, you just can't win. You can change the difficulty. Yeah, that's fine. I'm good. I think we got this. Surely. Start bat. Maybe 30 of them? Win condition, you win. Lose condition, you died. This is a crucial mission or battle, so it would help to exercise some caution. Nope. Defending is an important aspect of battle. End your turn without attacking or using an item to defend. Defending reduces frontal attack damage by half. Attacks from the side or rear are ineffective. Unaffected. Try defending in this position. Choose end turn. Okay. He's going to come at me. Rock Fist. That's such a big number for the first hit. What day are y'all's services on? So we don't really have a worship service so much, but we are starting something new this, this week, actually. Every Sunday, we post asynchronously YouTube videos for our sermons. Um, so we do nerdy sermons every single Sunday at 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, and they just stay up on our YouTube. Like our most recent one was on the horror movie Nope. A uh, week before that was on the video game Neon White. Everything is always like that. But we're actually going to start on Wednesday mornings at 9 Eastern. We're going to start doing uh, talkbacks. So we're going to watch those videos together and just talk about them for like an hour uh, and see how that goes. So that'll be starting this Wednesday, except this Wednesday, the Pokemon Direct literally just got announced. So we're actually going to start at 830. And we're going to talk about it for 30 minutes, and then we're going to watch the Direct together. And then if we have more to talk about after the Direct, we can finish it up. So that'll be the game plan. Defending reduce the damage by half. Do Digimon, like, die, die? I mean, not really. But they do get real beat up, and it's very sad in the movies. Not only did this significantly lower the damage you took, it also wasted the opponent's SP. Since the enemy attacked this turn, it can't defend. Make the most of its opportunity. Okay. Unleash a skill now. The enemy is defenseless. Choose the attack command. That's like Pepper Breath from the skill list. I'd also like to move if you would let me. But you won't. Pepper Breath. Boing. Okay, I go to Lux. Got you. They do Wednesday nights, right? Is that right? I feel like that's right. During battle, it's important to keep attack and defense in mind when you take your turns. Yeah, I love that. Love it, love it, love it. We feel no competition there. I think Lux is super cool. We don't really have an established church service like they do them. So can I like a... I don't know where I should go. I'm going to go here. I guess. You can attack me from the side now. Not good. Cool. This is fine. I'm fine. 
Because I'm going to do Pepper Breath again. Pepper Breath! And then he bursts into red light. We love it. Yes, I've met I've met with uh, the lift before. Oh, it's just on my phone. It straight up is my digivice, dude. I love that. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah, I don't think we'll, we'll ever necessarily. I mean, I'd never say never, but it's not currently in our plan to like add a worship service with music and and establish like worship time or anything like that. But we're experimenting with what these nerdy sermon talkbacks might look like. Maybe a little more, a little more, not even, I can't even say similar to what Jate does, because Jate does lengthier times where they're working through one chapter of the Bible at a time. So it's kind of a weird one. Oh no, no competition. Uh, and we've, we've, we've hung out before with, with the lift. I think that um, the true gift of these digital online ministries is that I don't think there is any, there's, there's not really in physical churches either, but we get it stuck in our heads that there's this weird com like competitive thing, but there's really not. There's no territorialism because there are so many people on the internet that there's literally no way. There's no way. We shouldn't worry because there are so many people on Twitch that if we're like worried about it, then we'd have to be like ninja or something. That's the only way we're going to have um, territories at that point. So yeah, not worried in the slightest. No need to apologize. Incredible. It really beat that monster. And what's with his appearance? This is the same Koromon as before, right? As you explore and earn rewards in battle, you will obtain various items and equipment. Equipable items in particular can improve your abilities and let you use skills. Looks like you found an equipable item. Let's try equipping it now. Press pause to open the pause menu. Items needed to be equipped from the status screen, so open the status menu. Okay, abilities plus their evolution. Press A for more detailed information. I'm obviously going to go to equipment. I'm obviously going to change to equip the potency crystal. Yeah! Nice! Then I'm done. Yeah! Whew! I was able to win thanks to you, Takuma. You were a beast out there, Koromon. I thought you were crazy to fight that thing, but then you freaking took it out. Not Koromon, silly. Right now, I'm Agumon. Agumon? I thought you said you were Koromon. Yeah, I was Koromon before. Now I'm Agumon. Okay, I really don't get it, but anyway. You really saved my bacon back there. I owe you one. <laughs> that goes double for me, Takuma. You got me out of a tight spot back there. I can only evolve thanks to you. It's Digivolve. If you keep saying evolve, I don't know what I'm going to do. Thanks to me, but I didn't do anything. That's not true. I can't explain it, but when I'm with you, I feel all power swelling up inside of me. Thanks so much, Takuma. What do you mean? Is that what made you transform? Seriously, what the heck's going on around here? Beats me. Right, makes sense. I guess it's my fault for asking in the first place. Hehe, <laughs> you're too kind. What about that sounded like kindness? Man, everyone's gonna freak out when they see you. Everyone. That's right! I have to go look for them! Everyone? Who's that? Oh, I mean all my friends. A weird chain of events brought us to the shrine, see? What's up, Hylian Hufflepuff? How we doing? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining the Discord, by the way. I appreciate you. Appreciate you being over there. We all ended up together at one point, but a landslide separated us again. Is that right? If they aren't around here, then maybe they went back to the school yesterday, or already. Well, first things first. I have to make it back to the school building. Just got up. Very nice. Is that a late start to the day? I don't know what time zone you're in, so I'm not sure. That would be a very late start to my day. My, um, our, our daughter actually woke us up exceptionally early this morning. Ah, oh, it was so early. I've been up since 4.50. <laughs> Long day. But I have no idea where I am in these woods. The fog doesn't help, that's for sure. Hey, don't go into the fog, Takuma. The fog? Huh? I didn't really notice before, but I think the fog got thicker. I'm not going because I don't, or I'm not going because I want to. Even without it, I'd have trouble figuring out where I am. If we're attacked by that weird thing again, it won't end up well for us. 238 where I'm at. So it is just a late start. Maybe. Maybe you're a, you know, night shift worker. How should I know? I got no clue. I wonder how likely another attack would be anyway. Hard to tell. Hey, Agumon, about that rock monster thing. Is that a friend of yours or what? Um, listen, Takuma, he killed it. <laughs> so if it's a friend of his, then I think you shouldn't be his friend. First, I've seen a thing like that. Is that the true nature of the Komonogami? 
Yes, I could actually use some prayer about IRL church. I was still going to IRL church when I went back Sunday after my surgery. And me and my pastor don't agree on a lot. And so he told me to leave the church. Oh, no. Dude, that's a nightmare. I, I, I don't know where to get started. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hate that you were disagreeing and I hate that you're, you're butting heads. But I think that's what church is all about, man. Um, I think if you're not butting heads, then odds are you're probably not talking about enough things. And I think that if anybody tells you to leave the church, you should say, I can't. I'm a part of the church militant, baby. I'm a part of the body of Christ, my dude. You can't get rid of me because I'm, I'm here. I'm accepted by the blood of the lamb. So sorry. That is awful. Seriously. We'll definitely be praying for you. Praying for whatever whatever you've got to do to get through that. Hopefully, maybe are there, is there another pastor? <laughs> I mean, maybe there's another pastor you can talk to at the church. Um, I don't know. Ugh. That's a good question, Saint Bear. What kind of things were you disagreeing about? No, it no way. I'd never be friends with someone who just bum rushes you like that. Oh, I didn't mean like a friend, friend. Just first of all, I'd never attack kids the way they do. All I'm asking is how you guys are connected. That's all. Wait, they. Don't tell me there are others out there besides that rock thing. Oh yeah, tons and tons. Big ones, tough ones, ones that fly, fast ones, fuzzy ones, you name it. Missed opportunity to rhyme. Of course there are good ones and bad ones out there too. Tons and tons, you say. I feel a headache coming on. There are tons of things like that out there. This is my first time hearing about this and definitely my first time seeing it. And there's a bunch of different types too. What's going on? Maybe something happened back at the shrine to the Kimonogami? Like we accidentally broke some sort of seal on the place or something? That could have released those bizarre creatures into the world, right? That reminds me, Mew was talking about some retribution thing back there, wasn't she? No way. I thought that kid just had a weird sense of humor. Once saved, always saved, and more I just can't think of. What's up, Frost? How we doing? Welcome to the stream. How did y'all stream finish up? Did you play Fall Guys pretty much to 2 o'clock? Still, it doesn't feel weird to be with this talking creature. It's almost as if I've known this little guy for a long, long time. Yes, we did. Did you get any dubs? Did the fall do something to my head? Stream was great. Rock on. What's wrong, Takuma? Well, I was wondering what to do. This place shouldn't be that far from the shrine. I doubt that rock monster went and beat up everyone in our group back there. One of my friends might still be around here. Monster isn't right. That rock guy, for example, he's got Suman. We got some dubs in the eat event. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, so all of you have names? Got it. Wait, I swear I've heard a story like this before. Oh yeah, the professor mentioned a name back at the mural in the shrine. It was your name. I should have remembered this sooner. These things really are Kimonogami after all? Now let's see. I think we should head back to the school for now. How's Digimon? It's a lot of reading, which I love. But if McDoohoo were here, McDoohoo would not stand. McDoohoo would not be about this. It's pretty much all reading thus far. We haven't gotten past the... um. We haven't gotten past the tutorial yet, really. We just got the entrance, the intro credits. At like two hours in, the uh, the intro credit rolled. So you hate reading as well, so you're right there with McDoohoo. I love reading. I play visual novels mostly, so um, I love it. Did you get the eat hammer back, Bling? Yeah, I want to know about that as well. Did you get the little, little baby hammer? I love it. Where aren't you on Twitch, St. Barry? Yeah. We, uh, we tend to all have these same circles that, that, that happen here. We're the same person. I'm not going to play this game. No? Bummer, dude. I'm all about it. I'm, I'm totally in it. I love that you get to make choices. I love that you get to affect the gameplay. I'm all about it. I want to look for my friends along the way. Would you mind helping me, Agumon? Now, you have to remember, I'm reading every single line out loud. If you were reading this with your eyeballs, it would go way faster. Yeah, I'm with you, Takuma. All right, let's, get it. let's go. You hate visual novels? That makes me so sad, Splash. They're my favorite. They're my favorite style of game. Was that a scream I just heard? Yeah, it sounded like a human. I heard it coming from over there. That voice. I swear it sounded like Minoru. Over by the shrine. Okay, let's go. Yeah. You know I hate reading. Whenever you said Grace knows that, I thought that was a church, a churchism, like a Christianese. I thought you were saying like, Grace knows that. I probably would like Final Fantasy 14. I probably would. I've never played it. People want me to play the FF online. Isn't that the 14? Not a fan of reading the whole thing, and I love reading. I reflexively started running when I heard Minoru cry out. 
At that point, I hadn't given much thought to the situation I'd found myself in, about the mysterious creature Agumon, or the place I'd wandered into. Who knew things would turn out like this? An adventure with our lives on the line. Didn't know T-Bone was here, otherwise I'd tag. Normally, Trombone is somewhere close to be found on the Checkpoint Church streams, typically. But I don't know, about to start working. About to start working. I hate these kinds of games. You guys are breaking my heart. You're breaking my heart, Bruno. Bruno, you're breaking my heart. I couldn't have imagined it back then if I tried. See, but I also, I mean, I kind of, I feel you because everyone on Twitch does FPS and that's the kind of game that I hate. So I kind of just kind of suck it up. <laughs> I kind of just suck it up and uh, typically end up, if I'm like watching, a, watching an LTN stream, I watch for Frost and I just kind of ignore the destiny in the background. Because I just, I don't get into it. Oh man, oh man, oh man! I can't remember this guy's voice already. Are you serious? Why is that rock monster chasing me? Wait, Minoru, I can't breathe! Owie! I can't even run anymore! That thing's not gonna let up! We're in trouble if it catches us! We have to run and fast! You saw what it could do, didn't you? We won't get off easy if that thing catches us! But I can't move! I'm just over here still trying to wake up, so you're like, you're absolutely mind blown by this weird monster thing going on right now. You're like half awake, half asleep. We should hide somewhere and wait for help! Hide where? The only place around here is that shrine where the rock monster is! Saying the only games you like are Fortnite. Yeah, so see, it's, we're, the, we're polar opposites there. The small shrine, we could hide in there! Come on, Allie, get a move on! I only like FPS when I can play it with my friends. I would agree. If I'm gonna play an FPS, it's gonna be in a community. It's gonna be a multiplayer with people. I cannot play by myself. Um, all right. But I'm also real bad! Real bad. Oh no, that sound! Come on, we gotta get your Digimans! I like Phasmophobia, that's fun. It's a good party game. Uh, it's here! Uh, uh, let's go, bring it! Is he gonna try to fight? Put him up, put him up! What they got that I don't got? Courage. Venoru, what are you doing? I'll deal with this jerk somehow so you can get going! No, it's too dangerous! Who knows, maybe I can handle this guy on my own! I'll be a hero! No, don't do it! Oh, I don't know his voice, dude! Stop right there! That's gonna be his voice. He's gonna be a British Falcon. Step away from those kids! Huh? There's more of them now? We shan't allow further wrongdoing from you, you lout! Pretty spot on! Pretty spot on! Yeah, nice! I'll protect you for sure! Now, I don't know what the My Little Pony sounds like. Fret not, for you two are now safe! I can't even with all these! I love the- I love the, uh, translation. Where are you going, Minoru? Don't run off on your own! So I just noticed that it has a saving screen, so that's good to know. I was worried because I hadn't seen a single save point yet, and I was like, What? Am I gonna- am I gonna play this again? <sighs> no one's here? Where are you, Minoru? Ah! That voice, it's definitely Minoru, but where the heck is he? I have never seen or played anything Digimon. It's a great show. It's a solid show. Um, I would personally say that the Digimon anime is better than the Pokemon anime, and I really love the Pokemon anime. But I've, I, all of the Digimon games, with the exception of Cyber Sleuth, have always kind of been a little subpar. They've never been really that good, but the anime was top. The Digimon movie in particular is perhaps my favorite movie of all time. It's definitely in my top five. Gonna watch a Digimon movie this evening? It's probably it's probably my top five favorite movies. You remember Digimon World? Classic. They had swords. They had swords in that game. How upset am I? I'm like a I'm a, I'm like an eight out of ten. I'm like an eight out of ten. I'm really upset. I'm very frustrated about that because <laughs> I do not want to buy more cards. We bought it on DVD because we had to. I still have the VHS, um, but I have not got the DVD. But I do have a, a download of it somewhere. No, stay away! Why did it have to be that thing again? Again? Hey, Minoru, answer me! Takuma, I can sense Gatsuma nearby. That rock thing from before? Um, way over there, in that direction. There's near the shrine. Okay, let's hurry over there, Agumon. Wait, Takuma, I sense a whole bunch of Gatsuma over there this time. Wait, even so, we can't leave Minoru defending for himself. Let's go! 
Got it, Takuma. Leave it to me. I think here's how I would I would evaluate this game so far. And granted, I haven't gotten enough fights to really get the feel. I think this is going to be Fire Emblem with Digimon. And I think it's going to be not quite as well paced as a Fire Emblem game. Whereas Fire Emblem really knows how to do their story pacing. So far, this game has not known how to do its story pacing. It really is a playable episode of the anime. Shoo! Back off, dang it! Look over there! Minoru's being attacked by Gatsuman! What should we do, Takuma? Um, obviously we're gonna save Minoru! What are you talking about? You goofy Gus? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Takuma! Of course, I can't just leave my friend to fight those things alone. It's too dangerous to tackle something that stony thing head-on. Let's look for the right time to- Ah, oh, shoot, another one just showed up! And what is this one's voice again? Hmm, I ya I can't remember. Ha! Ha, ah, you're... Are you okay, Minoru? That one saved him? Oh, I know him. That's Falcomon. He's not like the bad ones. Now, do you believe me? I told you I wasn't your foe. Mm, all right, all right. I'm sorry for... I'm sorry for doubting you. Just help me out, please. Understood. If you want my help, then my help is what you shall have. I do not like his tiny little teeth inside of his beaks. <clears throat> I do not like the tiny teeth inside of the beak. Not a fan. Hashtag not a fan. Not about it. I, I have a bad feeling, you guys, that I can't get Terrier Mon in this game, and it makes me very sad. Teeth plus beak equals hashtag canceled. Agreed. I see. That one definitely looks like it's on our side. I told you! Falcomon's a good guy! Still, I don't think he's a match for Gatsuman. What's really interesting about this game so far for me is the fact that both the Digidestined and the Digimon are in the fight. I think that's really cool. I, I like that. That's a big... That's okay. Yeah, we can't just stand here and watch. Please, go help him! Righto! Let's do this thing. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no, it didn't, dude. <laughs> Literally, I just I just bragged about it, and then it takes them away. That's very funny. Okay. Falcomon can't handle this alone. Support him with Agumon. Uh, better be careful until Agumon arrives. Select end turn. All right, I'm real ready for the tutorial to be over, babies. Move to the blinking square, I know. Real, okay, tutorial needs to be over. Doopy doopy doo. An enemy is in your attack area. Strike first with a skill. Choose the attack command, then select Pepper Breath from the skill list. Boink. Boink. Pepper Breath. In battle, your allies will sometimes come to your aid. This is called Battle Backup. They can back you up. Team attacks are followed. Up attacks on a shared enemy. You must be adjacent. Encouragement is when you cheer on an ally, increasing their attack power. Support uh, recovers a certain amount of HP. Likelihood of battle backup occurring depends on both distance and affinity. Backup effects can give you an edge. Try to stick close to your allies. So it is, it's straight up, it's straight up, it's straight up Fire Emblem. Your affinity will change based on choices you make in the story and can be crucial in battle. Boing! Pepper Breath! Nice, dude! One hit KO. Gatsuman ain't Gatsuman nothing on me. Just one enemy left, but its attribute gives it an advantage, so that could be tough. Why not get some support from Takuma or the others for this? It should help a lot. First, choose the talk command. Okay. This can bring up a list of allies in the fight, so you can choose who to talk to. You can also see which rally effect you'll get. Each character provides a different effect. Sometimes you can talk to enemies, but it looks like this one isn't having it. Maybe next time. Now to cheer on Agumon. Select Agumon from the list. Boink. Here he comes! Get ready to throw down! Throw down! Of course! Leave it to me! Takuma's words of encouragement have powered up Agumon. Rally effects last for a set number of turns, but only one character can shield for battle. Words of support from a trusted friend can make a huge difference, turning the tide of battle. Use them at just the right time, you'll be sure to take down even the mightiest foes. Now that Agumon is all powered up, it's time to blow this enemy away. Okay, he's going to come in a little closer. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. Get away, Luke, tonight. Can I talk again? It's tough, but I'll do my best. 
Yeah, let's break on through. Oh, and I get to move now? Oh, I can't reach him. Okay. Enter. All right, pepper breath. Yeah, boy. Nice. Yeah, I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. I am in it to win it. Ba-boom, ba-boom. Nice. Oh, you love it. You love to see it. I love the cell phone digivice. And let me go ahead and tell you, there ain't no way it's staying to 95%. Do you think we have to charge our phone at some point in the game? Does my Agumon just disappear if my phone dies? I don't think my phone has ever been on 95%. I think I wake up and it's at 94%. Oh man, you really saved my bacon, Takuma. This guy just showed up, so I freaked out and booked it. Then that mini golem showed up. I tried to warn you about the Gotsumon, but you ran from me instead. Come on, man, I already said it was my bad. Wow, Minoru's already getting along so well with them. We became buds in no time too, right, Takuma? I wouldn't call it no time. Okay, real talk, Takuma. What the heck are these things? That's what I want to know. They're on our side, though, that much is for sure. Yeah, on your side. You saw it for yourself, didn't you? How they protected us? Well, yeah, I sure did. Nah, well, I was AFK and missed the teeth beak, but that is awful. Isn't it terrible? I believe I spoke to that several times already. All I know is we're being attacked by these strange creatures in this weird forest. Heck, I'm just relieved to find anyone else. Come on, let's look for Aoi and the others. But for real, this literally is playing out like Animon Story Campaign, 100%. It's almost like I had inspiration. Yeah. Hmm, something wrong, Minoru? Oh, uh, well, it's just... I was with Aoi before, but then Falcomon spooked me and I just... I took off at full speed and left Aoi behind! What? You left her behind? I just freaked out, man. I'm sorry! This is bad. Which way is she? There must be other monsters out there beside Gatsumon. Not many, but I do sense a number of them. I think the writers for this game stole your ideas, Nate. That's what it is. That's what it was, for sure. We have to look for her. And now, she isn't around here. We should go look somewhere else. I thought it was Agumon. Yeah, let's go. Takuma! Minoru! Oh, that voice. Is it going to be Saki? It's coming closer from the direction of the shrine. Could it be? Saki? We need to wrap up. This is where we wrap up. Oh, no! I don't want to stop playing. I don't want to stop playing! It's Owie. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, well, that's the save point, and I don't know if we'll make it to the next one, so I guess we need to call it here, but that's made, this makes me very sad. I don't want to stop playing. I love it so much. Oh, this is so my kind of game. You guys don't even understand. You do not even understand how much this is my game. Okay, I am so glad I checked to see if there was save data. Nice, dude. Ah, we love it. I love this. This is my kind of game. Uh, the question will be, will we play on uh, streams or not? And that's kind of up for you guys. <laughs> yeah, definitely a raid suggestion sounds perf. Would appreciate it. Um, you know, it's kind of a tricky thing um, as far as playing games on stream because I may love them, but if the stream doesn't love them, then that's not what we're about. So um, we'll figure it out. Question is, are we rebranding to Digi Mondays? We might. Did you show up late? You showed up right at the end, just in time. And we're all right with that. You're okay. We will be streaming again tomorrow, folks, at 1 o'clock. Uh, just so everybody knows, 1 o'clock, same time tomorrow. Let me go. Hang on. It says I'm offline for some reason, even though I'm definitely live. Creator dashboard. I do not appreciate Twitch only recommending Fortnite streams. Yeah, I'm not about Fortnite. Fortnite. Fortnite Battle Pass. Did I seriously miss the stream? No! What's happening? Everybody shows up right at the end. <laughs> Oh no, well, I have good news, folks. I have good news. We still have plenty of streams left this week. Boom, well, oh, wrong one. Well, that is also important. Uh, mm. Satanic Panic, if you, want the, if you want the link to that, I can drop it in the chat. Uh, but this is our stream for this, the week. So if you want to be a part of deciding what game we play tomorrow, it could be Neon White. It could be something else. You guys have got to just let me know what you want to see uh, being played. So join our Discord, exclamation point Discord in the chat. If you're not there already, I'll post in general chat tomorrow morning, first thing in the morning. And um, that will be the place where I will um, 
EST. One o'clock Eastern tomorrow. Uh, and I will post the voter in the morning. You guys can vote on as many games as you want to. You can also recommend games there. Whatever gets the most votes is what I end up playing that day. Uh, Wednesday, we're going to have a Nerdy Sermon talk back. It's actually starting at 8.30 a.m., which is crazy early. But um, uh, Pokemon just had to go and announce a, uh, a Pokemon Direct on Wednesday. So we're going to be watching the Pokemon Direct together at 9. But at 8.30, we're going to get together and talk about the sermon from this past Sunday. Smoking your times in the on white, by the way, I can't say I'm too surprised, Zando. That could be something we do tomorrow, is I go and I try and beat Zando's times now, um, which would be impossible. Uh, Game Together stream is not happening this Wednesday. It's happening next Wednesday. Wake with Nate will be this Thursday at 9 a.m. Uh, and then Podcast Friday will be happening August 19th is when that starts up. So we got all this stuff coming up in the near future. We got lots of good things going on. Folks, we are Checkpoint Church. We are the church for nerds, geeks, and gamers here on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. Uh, we stream all those times that I just mentioned. We also are on uh, Discord 24-7, always engaging, having good conversations about tons of fun things on there. If you want to come talk to me about anime, please talk to me about anime. All I want to talk about is anime. That's my life. And so I'll talk to you about your gaming stuff as well on there. But my, my life is anime, and we need more weebs. The more weebs the better. Uh, and then on YouTube, every single Sunday, we post a um, we post a nerdy sermon. This past Sunday was on Nope. Uh, the Sunday before that was on Neon White. We're always, we post a sermon every single week. We actually um, have like almost two years, which is amazing. Amazing. So we got lots of stuff going on there over on the YouTube channel if you haven't checked that out. And I think that's it. Is that it? Have we got a, have we, can we get an exploit? Okay, we already did that from Perry. We got an exploit with Discord. Bonsai Baby is going to be our raid, folks. Whenever we go to our raid, if you would just spam You Matters in the chat. If you would just spam the You Matter in the chat. And we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna go raid Bonsai Baby. You're sure about that one, correct? Yes. I'm going to go ahead and drop a bunch right there. You guys can copy paste those or you can drop them in yourself. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and start this raid. Folks, we believe three things to be true about every single one of you out there. No matter whether you believe in God, don't believe in God, go to church, don't go to church. None of those things change these three things that we believe, we believe to be true about every single one of you. Number one, we believe that God loves you. Number two, we love you. We want community with you. Number three, we believe that you, yes, you matter. With that, folks, and until the next time that I see you, hopefully on the Discord right now or maybe uh, tomorrow, same time, same place. Until then, bye-bye!